Hey, everybody, welcome back to the Liam and Joe Show. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on this Thursday lunchtime. You'll notice the pair of us are quite fresh right now, Joe. Fresh? We're quite fresh. We're quite awake. Do you know why we're quite awake, Joe? Because I didn't get up at... Because we weren't stupid enough to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. For what was an interesting Adepticon reveal stream. So if you were watching the stream last night at 7.30, we talked about wish lists for the Adepticon reveal stream. I talked about the rumours that were already out there on Reddit. It looks like pretty much all those rumours are true. Uh, the stream happened at three o'clock. The one thing I will say is, I said, why would you do a live stream when you can just pre-record it and you don't have to worry about dull presenters reacting to things? Pre-record it, make it super fancy. What they did last night, Joe, was they put out a pre-recorded announcement video rather than doing it live, Yeah. Right? But for some reason, they still did it at 3 a.m. UK time. What's mental, right, is that because of time zones, there is a time when both America and England are awake as well. And because it's pre-recorded, you can release it both at the same time. Yeah. Why is but hey, so, uh, so they did release it at 3 o'clock in the morning UK time, which is a bonkers time, because it means Pacific Coast is 10 o'clock in the evening. Like, mid was like, I don't know, 7 or something like that. It was all over the place. I don't understand. I don't understand, <laughs> but they did it. And this morning I woke up, and normally, if I wake up after a big reveal stream, my WhatsApp has gone ballistic, and there's tons and tons and tons of messages. Instagram is a wash, Facebook is a wash, I have emails from GW. That wasn't really the case this morning. It wasn't really the case at all. There was a few messages in the Thanes, typically from the guys in the US who were watching it together, and a couple of people that had actually gone up to watch it. But on the whole, I feel like this one was a bit of an anticlimax. Yeah. If I'm honest with you. So, what did we see on Adepticon Reveals? Well, we're going to share that with you in just a moment. But long and short of it is, there was a cinematic trailer for AOS new season, I think season four, which is very exciting. And the cinematic trailer is actually very well done. Um, from our channel's perspective specifically, we're interested in AOS, obviously, but we're also mostly interested in 40K, for which I think that was wildly disappointing. It's interesting that Chaos Space Marines are going to get two new large boxes. Again, we'll cover that a little bit later on in the stream. And they're getting two Chaos Lords. One is a Jump Pack Chaos Lord and one is a Foot Base Chaos Lord. Both of which, by the way, I think look really pretty. So I was surprised that we got the Jump Pack Lord. That threw me a bit. It would look I'm, I'm Night Lords. I'm super happy that we got it. So you know you can lock the orientation. Hold it up the way you want it. Scroll down from the top right-hand corner. Yeah, and you see there's a little lock icon. That one, there you go. It won't move anymore now. Because you, you seem to be wrestling with it and like you're driving to work or something. It goes locked. Because the cable. Well, it's because no one put it on charge after it was last used last Thursday, Joe. I don't know who that was. I don't know who that was uh, either. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so for Space Marine, for Cal Space Marine specifically, uh, they announced the Codex. Eight detachments, by the way. Is mad. Because they said there's going to be like an Alpha Legion style, a Cultist style, a Vashtor one. An Iron Warriors style vehicle army. Do you know this is this was going to surprise you? Do you know what I actually secretly was most excited by? The cultist style one. Well, he, uh, Nick said, "Will there be trades of guard in the book?" And um, your favourite human being in the world was like, "There will be trades of guard." So hopefully, part of me is like, "Will we get?" If they become a core choice, uh, a battle line choice, and you can take six units of trade of guard. Which is cool, but I kind of hope that they get the option to take Lehman Russes and stuff. Well, that's that's they won't, yeah. But. If you get if you want Traitor Guard to be proper Traitor Guard, you need to have access to all the Traitor Guard stuff rather yeah. than here's just some infantry and then you can take Predators. Yeah, they're just Guard. Yeah, but. exactly. So um, I was I'm excited by the I'm actually more excited by the Chaos Space Marine book than I thought it was. And I said to Joe earlier, the downside with World Eaters getting their own book, which I love by the way, is it's kind of very because GW do GW, and despite the fact that this isn't narratively accurate, World Eaters in 40k is very one dimensional. It's pretty much all about melee, and that's about it. Right, that's all you get. Yeah. And I kind of miss the days of having access to the Chaos Space Marine book when I did used to run Decimators, Leviathans etc. and other units. So there's a little part of me that kind of wants to get my hands on some of this new Chaos stuff in the future. If they send us those boxes, don't get, don't get me wrong, the characters will be Joe's to start with because he'll get things ready much quicker than I will. But otherwise, throwing the rest of it into perhaps, I, do you know what I want to do? Do I really want to do, Jay? A word bearer's army. I want to do a word bearer's army, and then I want to buy the Horus Heresy Lorgar model and run him as Abaddon. No. <laughs> Do you know when you kept asking me if you could run White Scars as Ravenwing, would I be okay with it? And I kept saying yes. I had this in the back of my mind for a while. It's banks, Joe, don't you worry. Don't 
but Lorgar, yeah, he's, he's the best. He's such a dick. He's the best. He's the best bad guy. Best bad guy. He's basically like Power Rangers level of bad guy. Like he sits in space sculpting weird blob aliens to send after, to send after people. I hate him. I love the idea of a word bearer's based cultist army. Which yeah. Is fucking cool. The thing is that like the, the newer way they've been writing word bearers is good. You need to listen to Storm of Fire okay. series. Because in there, they are terrifyingly evil, proper grimdark baddies. Not really annoying, like, Blackadder baddies. <laughs> I'm getting cold heresy. I mean, yeah, Lorgar, word bearers, of course. But yeah, so um, <laughs> eight attachment, Chaos Space book, super cool. Two new characters, Chaos Lord, Chaos Lord and Jump Pack, which is quite nice. Mm -hmm. Two new box sets, one with each of the characters, and then um, they showcase the Combat Patrol, which I think is the same. Do you know what did upset me? What? That we've got we've got two box sets, right? Both box sets are incredible. Yeah. The one where you get the ten terminators, the um you get possessed, you get um We'll, we'll go through all this, yeah. Chose, you get the stuff, right, and you get the other one. I was like, where's the army box set that has a codex in it? We don't, it doesn't a fancy look, codex. It doesn't look like either of them have a Because what's gonna it. happen now is I'm gonna have to fight people in the street. In, in that god awful Games Workshop queue, if they release a special codex. Why? If I don't get it, I'll kill a man. You, <laughs> you want Joe wants a special codex? I've never had the special Chaos codex. Well, I, I got the last special Eldar codex and Brom ripped it for me, so. I know, I get two. <laughs> <laughs> so you can scout one. The Brom friendly one, mm. and one, and one yeah. for me. So that's quite exciting 40k. Uh, kill Team, which is kind of 40k relevant as well. Um, some more interesting stuff. So some new Brood Brothers stuff. They look nice for uh, GC the Colts and some new Votan stuff for Leagues of Votan, Leagues mm. of Jotan, which will be I, here on Tuesday. I do like, I like the trench coat men. Yeah, I do have a favourite out of them, which I'll point out later. Okay, you did. Yeah. So that's for forty k. There was some other bits and pieces. So there's, I think there's Warcry. Um, I think it should showcase some more Solar Exodus stuff from Heresy. If I remember rightly, I remember. Did they? No Heresy stuff came out. They Necromo showed off. They did it. Brom put a thing in the group chat about Heresy, like. So they did, they did a teaser trailer for Heresy, which is 20 seconds long, and they're like, ooh, what could it be? Where well, it's quite obvious they're releasing plastic ad mech for. Oh, for okay, right, right. And then there's a teaser trailer for Necromunda, where it's like deep into the underhive. So what, it's like, it's like tagged like stirs underneath. So I'm, I'm assuming like maybe Gene Steeler Cults or Chaos Cultists come into Necromunda. Um, okay. But then got and then Brom was like, "Oh, those Solar Resil look really good," but they were released weeks ago, and okay. they were on Sunday's thing. But they do the new Solar Resil do look very pretty, and I want some. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to jump into it, uh, and we're going to watch. Um, we're going to look at the should content. I do, should I do these quickly? Uh, we're we're going to look at the content. Hang on a minute, I'm getting there. We're going to look at the content that was on. Um, it's on the community page, basically. I once I woke up and looked in the group chats and realised there wasn't tons of excitement. I saw loads of excitement for Skaven, no new models, but that's part of the AOS. Uh, new trailer for the new AOS season, which is a cinematic trailer, which is very, very good. We can watch that along with you, but what we can't do here is we can't we can't watch it with the audio because these mics will pick it up and they'll get a weird echo. So we'll just have to be quiet whilst we play the videos. All right, Joe? You can do that, can't you? Keep quiet? Yes. That's what I'm known for. So we're going to have a look at that in a minute. We're going to jump in in just a second. If you haven't already, please make sure you smash all the magical YouTube buttons for us. So hit that like button if you enjoy the content. Smash subscribe if you haven't already. 270 people watching. If any of you aren't subscribed, please hit that button for us and hit that bell notification icon if you want to be notified every single time we go have a drop a new video. Alternatively, if you're in the Great Hall Discord server as a member of the Great Hall, then you also get notified when we go live or drop a new video and it's significantly faster than the YouTube bell notification is. So that bell notification icon is great if you're not in the Great Hall. But if you're in the Great Hall, it's much better just to use that. Um, the other ways you can support us, obviously, is by gifting memberships, being a member all by yourself, and by super chatting or super thanks after the fact in the video as a comment if you want to financially support us. Some of you already have. Let's go, Joe. Thank you, Ben Legays, for five gifted memberships. Thank you, Dang Skippy, for five gifted memberships. Amazing. Thank you, TB, for one gifted membership. You're a hero. Every little counts. It does. It all helps. Right. If every single 277 of you gift a single membership, 
it, it, the stream kind of pays for itself. It's, yeah. it's genuinely amazing yeah. and it's That's incredible. just my lunch on its own. Yeah. yeah. So we like, oh, so someone made a comment last night about how we consistently get 100 gifted members on every stream. And I'm like, yeah, but do you know how much it costs to run the studio and run everything? Run everything. Mm. Like it is expensive. Running this whole thing is expensive. We love it. We adore it. We want to keep entertaining you. So for those of you that do support us, it means the world. Thank you so much. You're amazing. Carry on. Thank you, Dave B, for the super chat saying, here's my favorite bearded banjo players. Hello. I've never played a banjo. Have you played a banjo? No. You do, I tried I, to learn to play a guitar for about a week and then decided my hands are too fat for this. I am going to put some time aside soon to start learning my guitar again. Really? I bought it at Christmas. I've played it three times since. Yeah, three times since. Badly. I need to actually get on. I, it's very cathartic and very relaxing to sit there in the quiet, just strumming away, and then play some guitar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do that, but without the guitar. Yeah, exactly. right. Um, <laughs> I think that we'd be quite happy, like, on the bayou, just sat there. Yeah? Just probably not playing the banjo. No? No. Okay. Like, I like bow fishing or something. Yeah. Yeah. For reference, by the way, chat, to make this work today, we have to have the big Warhammer Community article in front of us. So chat's only on a little box to the left-hand side. So if you see me looking that way, I'm trying to look at chat. Yeah, it's much it's, more convenient for Liam. It's not as zoomed in as I thought it was. I'm going to try and zoom in a bit further, because chat's a bit... There we go. It's a little bit better. So I can kind of see what's going on in chat. If you desperately want to get your point across, though, and it's something you can afford to do, I think it's like one ninety nine is the smallest you can do for a super chat. If you can throw that at us, we'll definitely get to your point. But we're going to be spending a lot of time looking at this big article in front of us, so we might miss your comments in chat. We'll try and get to you though. I'm aware there's nearly three hundred people watching on a Thursday, so I, I want to apologise now if we don't read your comments out. I'm just trying to keep hold of multiple screens at once. Uh, but Joe's got the fan funding on the iPad, so he will definitely pick it up. Okay? Yeah. Thank you, Christopher Sanford. Uh, love how even Games Workshop presenters couldn't be bothered to get up for the reveal. <laughs> <laughs> it, the fact that, like I said earlier, the time zones do coincide that both England and America are awake at the same time. What? When? Like, like there's like a... Because we're only like 12 hours apart, aren't we? Well, this is what I said. No, no, Joe. So if you're on the Pacific coast... We're eight hours apart. Yeah. They're eight hours behind us. If they're on the East Coast, they're five hours behind us. If they're in the middle, they could be six hours behind us. So, okay. So, we could have the, gone, so they could have gone, they could have put the preview out. We talked about this on, li on stream last night. I'm so glad you paid attention. It, they could have put the preview out at 8 p.m. UK time, right? It's 9 p.m. in Europe. At 8 p.m. UK time is midday at Pacific, three o'clock in the afternoon, East Coast. Everyone's awake. Yeah. Uh, the only people that won't be awake then, well, actually, Australia's still awake at that point as well, because at eight o'clock it's like uh, eight o'clock in the evening, it's like uh, seven in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so maybe some of the like I think like Jap Japan isn't awake or whatever, or but then they all can't really afford the prices that they charge over there anyway. So yeah, so this is really Yeah, they're all too busy fighting spiders. So yeah, yeah. exactly. Not the time for one. So yeah, I just think, so like it just the fact that it is pre-recorded is. Um, <laughs> is the piss take in that as well, isn't it, really? Well, the well... The thing is, that it's really good, although um, I like Nick. Nick Bayton? Nick Bayton. I met him, nice guy. Lovely guy, lovely guy. But in this one, he's a bit aggressive in his seat, isn't he? He's like, oh. I always feel like he's going to lunge through my screen when it's, he's talking. I feel like... I've, uh, I don't know this for certain, chat, and I don't want... There's no Liam versus Nick Wars. I know you've made a big thing about Stu. But I feel like it's like it comes across. It came across to me a little bit forced excitement yeah. rather than genuine excitement. Well, I do understand that they see everything very far in the future. Yeah. So they already know, so they have to kind of fake this kind of yeah, which I get. First time I've seen the excitement. Yeah, which isn't necessarily a problem. But the problem is that there's four of them sat there. Um, I don't know the name of the big. He's like one of us, the guy on the end who's got like three quarter length jeans on, metal t shirt, big beard, crazy hair. Looks like one of our people. I don't, I don't know, Joe. Right? You lost me with the our people when you said three quarter length jeans on. Anyway, they're for Texas he, women. He, he looks like <laughs> <laughs> he looks like one of your typical. Can you press that red button? Um, <laughs> does not know that we're live. Wait, clearly not. Yeah. Just one uh, of our sponsors phoning us yeah. ten minutes into the show. Uh, does he like like this? So the, he's your typical kind of Nottingham metalhead. Yeah. Like, he, he was just he looked like he was just happy to be there. Yeah. He looked like he won an award. He might have done prize to be <laughs> there. Pulled him in off uh, his fucking... And everything he said was great. He was super happy. Um, obviously, the, the, the and then Nick was like a bit. Uh, 
There are better words, but predatory. In his seat. He's like, oh, oh. Like, he's, he's like ready to leap out of the screen at but you. They're not, they're but he's having, very handy talking. Having said that, I have met Nick in the past, not that yeah. he'll remember it, and he is genuinely just very excited about the hobby yeah, all the time. which is great. It's great. Yeah, it is great. And then, but the people he's interviewing I just seem like they're a bit done with it. <laughs> but this is what, we said this last night, Joe, this is where, like, I genuinely sympathise with them about trying to get, I've said this in the past, about trying to get excited about something that they've seen three months ago. Right? It's, I get it. Right? You know it's coming. You know the show's coming. You know what's going to be showcased. You've probably already read the script a few times. And then you have to be excited on air. I get it. I, I'm not criticising that. That would be hard. I, I would find it hard to be false excited about that kind of stuff. Yeah. But what they could arguably do is come to a Joe and say, here's the new 2K Space Marine models. Record your reaction. I love it. A little bit more like professional than just, there you go. Hey! We got that. But you get, they get a genuine excitement from someone who's yeah. invested in that particular faction. Uh, and they include other channels out there, which I think is a good positive message piece from GW. And because it's now pre-recorded, you also get to edit it. So when, when I go, fuck it out, they can go get rid of that thing bit. Is that, and the thing is that they can control it by inviting people to Warhammer World. Yeah. Instead of getting people to record stuff on their phone at home, so you, you don't want to end up with the video with lots of different quality sound and audio and picture, you can go, come to the studio, we're going to show you something and record your reaction. Someone said could have been an email. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely could have been an email, yeah. yeah. No, you'd be right, absolutely, you could. And you yeah. can control it at Warhammer World, and you can edit it because it's pre-recorded and not live. But you, what you do at that point is you get genuine excitement reaction, yeah. put that in the video. It's what, it's, you know, but they've done the pre-recorded thing already, it's a start. If they can actually manage to release it when we're all awake, that'd be a second, a second, yeah. like, big step forward remembering that you're a British fucking company. And then, after that, if we can then maybe start bringing in community people for their reactions and stuff, and even if they don't trust us because of the language we use, you've got so many people, you've got your mini war gamings, you've got your play-ons, you've got your tabletop titans, you've got your tabletop tactics, big channels, lots of reach, they can get people excited, record their reactions, record their excitement, stick that as part of the, what is essentially a marketing piece, let's yep. be honest, and it is, and I want no criticisms of that at all. Um, but I think Nick is just always excited all the time because I yeah. think he's just I don't, honestly when he plays Battle Report you know that's the exciting series name they gave their Battle Reports when he plays in Battle Report um, he's kind of like well, that like anyway Games Workshop is called Warhammer now isn't it yeah, yeah he's kind of like that anyway. it's, it's called Games Workshop it, do you know why it's called the Warhammer Shop because everyone called it the Warhammer Shop yeah it's like when you go when you, it's, I think it's for, for mums and nans Where it's are easy. You? I'm at the Warhammer Shop I'm going shop. to Games Workshop where's that it's the Warhammer Shop alright yeah, yeah. So I don't like, you know, I've, I've, I've often criticised how uninterested and unexcited they are and how, but that isn't something that necessarily can be helped when they know what's coming. What's bothered me in the past is lack of charisma, um, which has been a pretty bad problem for them for quite a while. There was a little bit more last night. Nick was quite excitable, but Nick is quite excitable. You yeah. know? I don't know. I thought it was, I thought it was okay. It's just, there's a, I felt like some of it was a little bit fake, but you, you can't help that when you know what's coming. And you've mm. seen it for months in advance. And I can assume you, they've probably seen it at least a month in advance. But, pass. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Benjamin Dustin. Slept through it. I work nights, but miss nothing. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <sighs> Do you know what's annoying, right? The best ever release video they ever did was the one for the Care Space Marine Codex when Titans came. Yeah, that it got spoiled. They for got you. spoiled yeah. for me when I went for a wee just before. Anyway, come on, let's get through this. Because we've, uh, we've got to open up the article. Thank you, Eric um, Odinson. Joe's shirt game is perfection. Odinson, by the way, is a great surname. Your surname yeah. game is perfection. Yeah, Primani. Because that's what you needed was more t-shirts. When he's at, when he's in the Thanes later, whinging that he can't afford new models and he's poor. Remember how many new t-shirts you see him in? Yeah, but I didn't buy it. Uh, remember how many new t-shirts you see him in? Yeah, but I didn't buy this t-shirt. Who bought it? Your household? Remember how many t-shirts you see him in, right? My Next time he comes begging for models, just tell him to fuck off. My partner was buying, buying clothes with her birthday money. From her mummy. Her birthday money from her mummy? What is she, 12? She's 37. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Okay, carry well, on. Her mum lives far no, away. it's fine. Carry on. Um, thank you, Aaron582 Railways, for becoming a Huskarl. A Huskarl? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> like, that was my excited voice. Like a gen wow. Um, does, does he follow, does Aaron Ooh. follow the Emperor's Path? Which you would think is a Warhammer Instagram. It's about trains. Model trains. But, but he does a great job. But it used to be Warhammer. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, I know the guy. Yeah, yeah. I, I follow him. I like his because I because I learned how to do weathering from him weathering trains. Did you? Yeah. He's, he used to all be forty k. Yeah. And then he moved into Heresy. Then he stopped by for ages. And now he's come back doing forty k uh, doing trains. Yeah. 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 Good lad. Yeah. Thank you, Leaks Veeks. Uh, didn't didn't announce the GW branded Merkins. I predicted. Uh, there was a bunch of massive Games Workshop dildos on stream, though. Wow. <laughs> wow. Great. Yeah, that's a, gr that's a great super chat, by the way. We'll find yeah. that one. They said, no, we support Joe. No, you've got no choice. Chat. Joe Liver Twist. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Joe Liver Twist. Yeah, wow. Well, yeah. Um, thank you, Christopher Sanford. I am... Never been tempted by AOS, but honestly, the trailer with Skaven made me reconsidering. The trailer is really good. Me, we'll watch that in a minute. Yeah, but it, it does look good. Thank really. you for the five, Chris. You're a legend. And thank you, Carl of Hodgie. Why does Joe have a monster? We want him to live. What well, I did, so I did have a conversation with the Thanes at uh, Element when we had a sit down and a conversation where I was like, uh, "You're all banned from sending him any new models until he quits monster," and they all agreed. And I said to them, "I'd rather die." Well, they, I mean, if you keep drinking it, you probably will. Yeah, but I don't smoke. I don't, do, matter, I don't do drugs. It, I mean, you do. Caffeine's a drug. I don't drink alcohol. Right? Caffeine's a drug. Um, but, like, would you rather I didn't drink that and I was miserable all the time? Well, you'd be alive. Yeah, but I'd be miserable. You'd be alive. I'd be miserable. At the moment, because how much monster do you drink? I'm worried if you yeah. walk up the stairs, your heart's going to explode. It would be like you're watching Auspex Tactics. You know? I'd just be. Just well, we'd really we get more views then. <laughs> yeah. I'd just be dead inside. No, I. Um, <laughs> we'd actually get subs. <laughs> I, I don't drink as much monster as people think that I drink. I didn't have any yesterday. I had one the day before. At most, when I'm not here, I'll drink one can in a day. But then I don't drink coffee. I don't drink that much tea. So, people, um, people think that I drink three we, a day. We want to, you want to be very glad we'd have a lie detector. Anyway, <laughs> we have a fancy screen view now where we can look at the Warhamster community page. And this is the announcement page from yesterday's Adepticon reveal. So we've talked about it a little bit in brief, right? So if you were just watching to get kind of the overview, you've had that part already. That's a half hour video done. If you want to strap yourself in for the long haul, here is the article. Adepticon 2024, this is everything we revealed at the latest Warhammer preview show. Now I have the mouse in my right hand here on the sofa, so I'm going to try and go through this uh, and we'll cover everything off, right? Our preview show at Adepticon has been huge. There's something to see from almost every corner of Warhammer and some of the most exciting things yet. The show was even more packed than usual and you can rewatch the entire thing as it happened below. I don't, I don't think it was some of the most exciting things yet. This is, maybe this is just because of, of my 40K bias, but I wasn't blown away I by like, it. Things are, I like all the stuff that Games Workshop puts out. Well, I like a lot of it, yeah. So this, is, this was the stream that they did, right? We won't ruin it too much, though. Yeah. We're not watching it. So you can still watch it. It was up on Twitch if you like watching Twitch's garbage quality. But you want more details and some juicy images to, uh, to coo over, right? There's a lot to get through. To settle in, you don't want to miss a single one of these awesome reviews. <coughs> so we start off with new AOS. The mortal realm is under siege. New threats hammer at the doors of civilization. The once blinding light of Sigmar's Crusade is beginning to gutter and die. If you remember re recently, they did a little bit of the spoiler, the little teaser where they were like, Sigmar lied to us. And it, it went into some more depth. A new era of desperate survival dawns, and there couldn't be better backdrop for the next incredible edition of Warhammer Age of Sigmar with streamlined rules, new game modes, and loads more. Check out the explosive announcement right here, right now. This piece here concerns me. I had a, a phone call with a, a friend this morning. Was it Dan? He, it was Dan. Yeah. And because I phoned him on the way to work, because he's on his way into work in London. And he was like, I watched it, I read the stuff. I'm scared. The streamline new rules is simplified, not simple. In he it, all absolutely over again. fucking loves it. It's his favourite game. He's moved from 40k to AOS, really. He still plays 40k, but AOS is his new jam, yep. basically. Because he says the rules are better, the team that write the rules are better. Everything about it is just flat better. And then he goes, and now they've gone into in they're going into indexes. They are going. Well, we'll go into that. So Age of Sigma, right? For Age of Sigma is reforged for an incredible new edition. English, obviously. The mortal realms are in turmoil. Sigma's Dawnbringer Crusades teeter on the precipice between survival and disaster, even as the forces of chaos, destruction, and death grow in power. But you know who's been suspiciously absent from the titanic struggles that have come to dominate the eight realms? The Skaven Hordes. Should we watch it, Jay? We can't get the audio, but should we put yeah. it on for them? It's just like uh, She-Hulk there. Let's put this on. Right, this is the cinematic trailer for AOS. 
here. Sigma yeah. lied. Oh. It's very. They do their trade. This is one of the better quality trades. It's a very good trade. They can still hear you, by the way. Can they? Yeah. And they can hear that. Oh, she died. The magic of television. She looks like one of the characters from Mark. Sigma told us we were chosen. In terms of cinematic stuff, this is the Warriors kind of shit I want on Warmer TV. Stolen from death. To be reforged as his weapons. It's a great trader, isn't it though? She died really easily there. But one mace the immortal to the head. sons and daughters of the storm I'm, god. I don't know if you survive a mace to the That's true. I'll let her off. Do you let her off you? Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. It'd be well shit living in the realm of fire, wouldn't it? But you'd have to, you'd hate wearing full paint now. Yeah, you'd be off. Yeah. You'd be more worried about that though, wouldn't you? Yeah. You're right, Carl, you didn't want any voice at all. Structurally, <laughs> right, if that was pushing through the ground, all that wood would break. This, way. this is when I got excited, the Skaven. We've not really had anything forever. So here's me hoping that the whole game range gets the front. Not safety. Well, I don't think they'll redo the bell and the big, the big cannon. The plague furnace and stuff like that. Yeah, they're probably doing a big swim, please. I'm hoping new plastic will look yeah. Yes. New rat, I would like new rat. I think they need new plastic. Gaven is just one of the coolest things. Well, Rat Ogre's got a new kit in AOS time, didn't they? Did they? Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure they got a new kit. I thought it was just a rebox old kit. I thought it was relatively new in, in the sense that it's been in the last six years. I love the fact he runs away when his mouth dies. Yeah. Run away! Well, that was the rule with characters. If you can't lose them, they ran away to the Sigma back. Sigma lied. He never told us the true cost of this honor. It... Soon, all that will remain of me is an echo. Lost to the storm. But until that day, I fight. That, the new cinematic trailer, New Age of Sigma. It's cool. Yeah. I do have a, an issue with their PR leading up to the video, though. What's that? Because they're like, Sigma lied. And they're like, well, lied about what? Lied about Skaven? Lied about Chaos? Lied about death? Lied about magic? And they're like, no, it just lied about how mental we'd go over time. Summer 2024, new AOS. So mm -hmm. the rumors are confirmed. I'm not entirely yes. sure. Oh, no, I don't want to talk. No, go away. <laughs> Uh, so that's what they've been up to. A billion strong tsunami of fur and teeth and malice is boiling up through Ash Akshi and beyond. A scheme, as a scheme centuries in the making comes to vile fruition, it brings with it all new edition of Warhammer Age Sigma. That's right, the most exciting fantasy tabletop war game in the world has been rewritten, 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 <laughs> right, from, words, from <laughs> the ground up, building on a decade of witch storytelling and bringing with it legions <laughs> of new miniatures, new walls, and an entirely new game mode. A harrowing new chapter in the existential battle for the mortal realm. See, I can do it for the mortal realm. Yeah. Okay. Um, the, he does look cool though, that guy, doesn't he? He does look pretty sick, doesn't he? Yeah. Uh, after a long period of seemingly at the periphery of the action, the Skaven returned with a, a rataclysmic <laughs> bang. Whee. The realms have gotten too used to a world where vermin can keep to the shadows and the consequences are dire. All that skulking around was time spent plotting the greatest scheme of all, the vermin doom, blossoming much of the fetid sub-realm of Blight City directly into the realm of fire and opening up festering rents in reality across the rest of the mortal realms. At the same time, the Great Horn Rat has struck a deal with Archaon himself and ascended to his rightful place as a full fifth member 
of the Chaos Pantheon, somewhat to the uh, chagrin of the erstwhile four. I do you know what? I really wish this was something that would also happen in 40k. So, story time. Story time with Joe. Story time with Joe. So, the realm of chaos exists on in all three game system. Yes. Because time within the warp happens sim. All time happens simultaneously. Yeah. So that's described by demons in the books. So like. Um, they say how like they know everything that's going to happen has happened will happen basically. So everything that happens, the demons that exist within 40k AOS and stuff, all are the same demons, yeah, the same entities. Because they're talking in one of the AOS books where they've glimpsed into the warp and they've seen like a, a warrior with a flaming sword and gold and, ar and silver armor fighting because it's Matey Boy from the Grey Knights, yeah, fighting. So the, so people from AOS have seen. Very nice, nice, basically. Which is cool. So, and now the Horned Rat is now the fifth god of... Which we kind of... This is something that's been out there narratively for a long yeah, time. Yeah, and like, obviously, like, Bellacor was trying to become the fifth god of Chaos, and now he's done it. Like, will there now be repercussions in 40k? Oh, In it, the sense that, like... If, they, if we get 40k space rats, Joe, there will be fucking Liam Manfat everywhere. Right. The problem is, right, the models have to be done right. Cor agree. Right? Strong agree. if they're not done right, they'll just look shit. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. Because yeah, there are other companies out there that have done space rats, and they just look yeah. awful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the face of such calamity, the Stormcaster Souls of the Hallowed Knights Chamber stand as the foremost bulwark against an ever-expanding tide of rodents. But the horrors they face in combating a continent-sized outbreak of Skaven are so overwhelming they have been forced to call upon the, Rena the Ruination Chamber. Uh, these are the most grizzled veterans of the Stormcast, heroes of a thousand battles dating back to the Soul Wars and before, brave men and women who have died over and again in the service of the God King. The innumerable reforgings have taken a heavy toll. These heroes have been sequestered in monasteries for years now, now clinging to the last vestiges of their humanity. Now they have been called upon once more. The only forces hard enough to enter a war zone blighted by the corrupting force of the warp zone. For these mighty warriors, this may be the final time they step into battle, at least as themselves. This huge shift in narrative is accompanied by changes to the game. The rules to Warhammer Age of Sigma have grad gradually, gradually, I keep Jonathan Ross on it today, <laughs> introduced new layers of complexity over the past nine years always building on a robust framework, but perhaps not able to take stock and reassess the experience as a whole. So for this edition, the team wanted to make sure they got everything right. The but this is a little deja vu. It's a little deja vu right yeah. now. But the idea, uh, Stormcast have gone through many iterations. I feel like this could potentially be my favorite version of Storm Stormcast. Because the first Stormcast that came out were very short and wide, weren't they? Yeah, and I did like them. And then the, the second version that was in the box set were really nice because they were a lot more true scale in a sense, weren't they? they Agreed. Were like yeah. human scale. And I really like the the spears and the shield guys that were stunning and the guys with the cloaks. Great. Now there's basically Stormcast, if done in a similar style to those, who are basically have lost their mind in their proper. Like Lunacy, double R yeah. bastards. Double R bastards. I'm yeah. all about that. I kind, I could get into Stormcast because I've never been interested in it. But I was like, it could be something. If you are interested yourselves, chat in the new edition of AOS, gift one member. See what I did there. Clever that, isn't it? Yeah. We'll hit that. So, so I'm not sure, Williams. The chank, the language there is troubling. It it concerns me. <clears throat> I'm gonna. The only reason why I'm gonna remain positive. It's because, because historically we've had 40k studio, we've had AOS studio. That's still the case. Yeah. And nine times out of ten, AOS studio, after the very, very beginning, have yeah. got it right. I don't I don't I don't want to speak ill of the 40k team, but the AOS team from history is vastly superior. Yeah. Well yeah. Because they Well, got... apart from the very first launch so of AOS. So the very first launch of AOS came We're gonna out. do no points, no power level, nothing. Yeah, but then they went Take what you want. <laughs> and then they went We've messed up <laughs> here. We thought that you were you people out there were grown up enough to sort it out yourselves. Clearly not. How wrong were they? <laughs> so we'll fix that for you. And they've done it. And the the thing I like about the AOS team, right, is they go there is 
at least three or four members of the AOS team playing in every AOS event yeah, that I, Games yeah. Workshop run, whether that's in Warhammer World or at large-scale events. And during the games or, or after the games, before the games, they're walking around talking to people. What do you look like? What don't you yeah. like? I have, do, I have yeah. less concern, but I still have care. Like I said, mm. concern. Like I said, if you are excited by AOS, exclamation mark gift, right? Let's get some, let's get some members train going whilst I read through this next section. The core rules have been reforged for the first time since the first edition of the game, released way back in 2015. The focus has been on streamlining, accessibility, and modularity. The modularity bit is something they didn't talk so, about in 10. That bit excites me a bit more. Yeah, so the thing about the make, so that makes me confident, but not scared, but not scared at the same time, is that with AOS, is like every unit has a very clear role. Yes. This unit has spears and shields. Oh, that's been like it since basically the start. Yeah, this, well. guy, this unit has bows, they're good at shooting, but if you touch them in combat, they die. The balance yeah. is really, really well done in the units. Normally. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the, the streamlining accessibility is two messages they gave us in 10th edition. That concerns me a little more, but mm, we'll see. But not at the expense of depth. To ensure the epic fantasy battles of your imagination can be recreated on the tabletop. This new edition is absolutely still the Warhammer Age Sigma that you all know and love, with all the friction taken out cleanly and smartly. It has a tactical and strategic nuance of the previous editions, driven by a real desire for the background to show through on the tabletop. On top of all that, there are modular rules, plenty more opportunities for, reactively, for reactivity in your opponent's turn via an updated system of command points and abilities, and a ton of tweaks and refinements, not least to the double turn, which has been fine-tuned into a knife-edge decision with a clever twist to scoring, which is interesting, actually, because the only thing I ever hear Age of Sigma players complain about is a double turn. Yeah. It's interesting they've, they've looked at that. Put simply, it is the best edition of Warhammer Age of Sigma yet, so say we, Games Workshop, who made it. What does this mean for my army? Rebuilding the core rules means that quite a lot has changed, and every faction in the new edition has had its entire set of raw scrolls and army rules updated and reworked. As a result, each faction in the new edition will receive a free downloadable faction pack at launch. They're getting indexed. Each pack will contain all of the rules needed to play, battle traits, sub-factions, enhancements, spell laws, and war scrolls for every unit. This also means that the battle tomes from the current edition will not be compatible with the new rules, and that every faction will receive a new battle tome over the next few years. They're literally getting indexed. Like we experienced 7th to 8th edition, like we experienced 10th edition mean before for, the, Is it Dawnbringers? The new series of books? Well, the missions, aren't they? More, more than... Some of them have got rules in for the characters. I don't, I don't know. But... I, mm, I don't know. We'll have more details on what the new War, scroll, war Scrolls look like and what you can expect from every faction in the coming months. Spearhead, a new way to play. As well as updates to match play and Path to Glory, the new edition of Warhammer Age of Sigma is accompanied by Spearhead, a fresh game mode that plays in an hour or, so or less using the contents of each faction, Spearhead and Vanguard box sets. Combat Patrol. It's AOS Combat Patrol. That's what it is, right? But I do find that the, spear the boxes for AOS are a lot more even e yeah balanced yeah. even like you, you te it's not so like you've got space protect. here's a dreadnought one squad of five men and a character yeah great yeah uh, spearhead is a fun and exquisitely balanced version of warhammer age of sigma and a brilliant way to introduce the game to beginners but it's not just new players who want to play this mode it really takes advantage of the new modular core rules to introduce a unique tactical spin the design studio absolutely love it and it's become one of the most popular games to play in lunch hours and after work around the office if that's true that's important yeah because people playing the game who are involved in making the game that frequently is a positive sign yeah. one of our biggest criticisms of 10th edition at the moment is it seems to be pretty much predominantly focused on building around tournaments well they won't be playing tournament games in their lunch break they no. just won't be because and, it takes fucking four hours and it does seem that the people that write the rules don't seem to know don't seem to play the game yeah like they're like um your favorite man would go to events and walk around the tournament but not actually get yeah. involved so if that's if that's true and not just um marketing uh, speak, then I'm actually quite excited because that, that would allow, like, if it was me and I was on the design team and I played a couple of games at lunch, I was like, mm, there's a bit of a, there's a bit of clunkiness here. Let's yeah. go fix it. Yeah. But that's really, really good, right? Yeah. Despite its small scale, Spearhead is a deep and robust game system with enough depth and twist to provide endless replayability. We'll definitely have more to say on this system in the near future. But the good thing is about a game system built on, on that, and it is, if it is as good as they are, it means that the accessibility of what they wanted from Kildee, Kildee, from 
from combat patrol might be better for AOS. Yeah. So it would be better for people wanting to start playing a new game. I agree. And and it helps you go, all right, I bought three Vanguard box sets. Yeah, well. For different armies. Travel announcement, just a section, but just, just in just a second, by the way. Um, so I've got three of these box sets. I played them. This is my favorite army. Yeah. I'll sell the other two. Yep. Use that money to then fill out that army. Yeah. Done. This summer will be an exciting time to be a Warhammer Age of Sigma fan. And there's ample opportunity for new players to discover this incredible universe and game. Turn, tune in over the coming months to learn more about the changes coming to Warhammer Age of Sigma and see all the new miniatures. Lots of new miniatures. And choose your allegiance by signing up to the Stormcast or Skaven Warhammer community newsletters in the links below for all the latest updates from the Mortal Realms. That is the AOS preview. Uh, just to give you guys a heads up, by the way. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. We've had a lot of questions about Age of Sigma. We talked about what we got in the new studio in November about bringing more content to the channel. And one of the things I wanted to cover was Age of Sigma and I wanted to cover Old World because I am an absolute fantasy nut. Now, I'm not stupid and I'm not dumb. I know full well that our main audience is 40K and our main content will always remain 40K because if I pivoted hard into a completely different system and lost all my members and super chatters, I basically wouldn't be able to afford the studio and I'd be living under a bridge. Yeah. I'm not daft. So we got asked lots of questions about Age of Sigma, and we said, yes, we intend to bring Age of Sigma. We've been working on Age of Sigma stuff. We have a Stormcast. No, not Stormcast. We have a um, Sylvaneth army out the back already. Joe's painted up his vampires. Um, there's other things on, on the way. I've been starting to buy Vanguard boxes. Now, I, I'm not allowed to say that we knew this was coming, so I won't. Um, but... We have missed the war hipster. <laughs> we have more missed the war. You're supposed to not laugh. That gives it away, Jay. We have missed the war hipster here on Monday for three days. Yeah, uh, coming to hang out. We will be next Tuesday. We will be playing current Age of Sigma on stream because he doesn't really play 40k. No. So we're going to play current Age of Sigma just to have a taster. But we're going to put a pin on it at that point, and we're going to continue to work on Vanguard boxes ready for this new edition. What I'd like to do is I'd like to be in a place that when the new edition launches, we've got most of the Vanguard boxes built and painted, yeah. and this that they talked about will be the first way we'll start playing Age of Sigma on the channel. Mm. Uh, whether it be live or pre-recorded, I don't yet know, but that's where we're going to start with the Vanguard boxes. That being said, if you have Vanguard boxes untouched that you don't want anymore, and you want to send it to the PO box, you'd be very welcome to, because buying all of the Vanguard boxes is fucking expensive. So we want to, I want to get to a place where we have all the Vanguard armies, all the Vanguard boxes built and painted out the back, and any of the guys, Bron, Paddy, um, Eddie, Joe, Kyle, myself, can pick up any of the Vanguard armies and go and play them on the tabletop. Yeah. So if you have Vanguard boxes, or Spearhead boxes, whatever they're called nowadays, and you want to send them in, it's one of those rare occasions where I won't ban Joe from taking this new stuff. I will, in fact, be grateful and say thank you to you all for doing it. Okay? So there you go. Right. Boop. Anyway, back to the main screen. So should, I, should I do much? some... Do this very quickly. Uh, it, it might be relevant, so yeah, let's do that. So, thank you, Trout187, for one gift of membership. Thank you, Christopher Sanford, for one gift of membership. Thank you, Demogorgon, for one gift of membership. Thank you, Rum O'Clock, for one gift of membership. Thank you, Tony Willick, for five gifted memberships. So, only five people excited about Kazarian, the Kazarian, very hype. Eight detachment Chaos Space Marine, AOS Chaos Mummy. If all the units in the trailer are models, delighted. Underworld's peak, as always. And big, happy Viking fella is Simon. I mean, we're going to go for all of this now, Kazarian. So Simon is the guy who you were talking about on the street. Yeah. His name's Simon, yeah. He's a great lad. I love well, him. Well, I mean, from the top half up, three-quarter length jeans should never be supported, Joe. Ever. I mean, it, he, he wears it well. No. You know what I'm saying? No. If I was a uh, mod rocker in the uh, 80s, I would think he was great. It, would you? Okay. Right. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I want to say Xylate. Go for it. Say that then. Xylate. Or cool. X-yate. Xylate is what I say. Okay, Xylate. Afternoon, lovely people. Uh, I had a demo of Underworlds the other day. Fantastic game with great models. Fact. I really like Underworlds as a game. I don't so, get to play it enough. Things like Underworlds are the games that I would like to, for us to play mm. as pre-recorded content yeah. that people can then watch on their lunch breaks. Yeah. Well, I, Underworlds, Kill Team. Um, what's the other one? There's another one, isn't there? Warcry. Warcry, thank you. I... I used to, when I used to work at the toy shop, um, we would play um, Underworlds as a group. There'd be like four of us all playing. Because you could get um, one game versus each person or do like three or four games versus one person. It was great and you could eat your lunch at the same time. It's a great game. Beautiful models. I, I like the deck building. Yeah, well. I want to I add these kinds of little games. But again, 
Like, we have to focus on the thing that's going to bring us in, at the moment at least, more viewers and genuinely, honestly and openly, more revenue. And the thing that I'm most excited for at the moment, outside of 40k, because I said to you earlier off camera, I'm fucking loving 40k at the moment. I'm having so much fun. The thing that I'm looking forward to the most is this, is New Age of Sigma. Mm. Like, I, I, I am nervous about some of the language that they've used in advertising New Age of Sigma. It's very similar to some of the language that Warcom used when announcing 10th edition 40k, which I got incredibly excited for and very positive for, and it came out as like, ah, uh, mm. this isn't... What I would have liked to have seen is an image of the base infantry model for each faction in that, yeah. army, in that box set. So, yeah, I, I'm excited with a little bit of trepidation and then yeah. just kind of holding back a little bit. This is the game mode that I am most excited for learning and playing in 2024, mm. outside of 40k, honestly. Yeah. And, I, and I'm going I'm to put my neck on the line here. I'm actually more excited for new AOS than I am for Old World, genuinely. Yeah, I, I, re I can't wait to play Old World. But the thing is, though, it's not going to be... Well, it's not nearly supported as well as this is. No. And no. I don't think it ever will be. No. Sigma and 40K are the main two studios yeah. at Warhammer World. So anything else outside yeah. of Sigma and but, AOS, uh, outside of Sigma and uh, 40K won't be supported. And we've said well. it before, is that when they released Old World, they should have just released all the boxes for the army. Agree. Away. Yeah. Well, more on uh, Old World in just a moment. Uh, thank you, Tony Willick. Hey, there is a Necromunda teaser. It sucks and says nothing, but ooh, ah, hit us up on social media because we've got nothing for you yet. <laughs> but at least there is one. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll thank see you, you Tony. You're a legend. Thank you. Uh, there is 361 people in chat right now, only 167 likes, and only 22 new members. I'd wear dungarees. <laughs> if we, <laughs> That's the content you subscribe for, right? If we get to 100 members, Liam will buy me dungarees. They'll be cheap and nasty. How I like it. I want them to be really baggy like when Shane wears them in The Walking Dead. Yeah, but that's because he wore Otis's dungarees. Yeah, yeah for a man much larger. And he was quite, well, he was jacked in there. Yeah. But, um, I am not that. Yeah. I'm, I am Otis to him, basically. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Um, if, if all 360 of you gift a membership right now, it will be the most lucrative, most successful Liam and Joe show we've ever had. Yeah. Facts. And I get some dungarees. If, all, some dungarees. if we get to like 200 members, can you get me nice dungarees? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, if we get to 200 members, I'll get you some nice dungarees. With bees on. And I can call them dunga bees. Maybe, just yeah. because I was going to say no, and then you said dungabees, and I was almost sold. Yeah. Right. The mortal realms are under siege. New threats hammer at the doors of civilization. The once blinding light of Sigmar's Crusaders is beginning to gutter and die. A new era of desperate survival dawns, and there couldn't be a better backdrop for the next incredible edition of Warhammer Age of Sigmar with stream rolls, new game modes, and loads more. Check out explosive announcement right here, right now. Hounds of Chaos. Before the realms slide into the throes of a new edition, there's still another story to be told in the annals of the embattled twin-tailed crusade. The newly founded cities of Ambergrad and Verdigree is uh, must defend their claims. Ambergard. And the greatest threat to their existence so far has begun to rear its head. The Dwarven Mountain Horse. Okay, right, okay. Yeah. So this is more Age of Sigma stuff. And this got Joe incredibly I, excited. Oh my god, this is beautiful. I've, we've got um, the ever chosen out back. Okay, good. Right. What was that? Because I, I, I don't. Sometimes I never know what you're going to say. Um, some stuff we're not allowed to say. Yet. We have stuff that we that we like that we have. <laughs> right. <laughs> At the of of the chaos and um, and I've got it next to my desk. To, to okay, good. Yeah, that stuff. That stuff's fine. Yeah, because I because and then I saw that and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get it done quick. Cause... The end of the door bracket crusade is, is nigh. Both times of the twin-tailed crusade have raised their cities against all odds. Embergard stands tall in Akshai, a bulwark against the roving bloodhound hordes, while Verdigree watches over the Gulf of Thors. Why is fantasy just so much cooler in every way in the realm of life? But scornful and envious eyes watch both of these descent strongholds, and a dark conspiracy is fulminating in the shadows. Um, yeah, I'm not going to play that little video. As the bells of ruin toll, toll, toll in Dawnbringer's book, what's that, six? Hounds of Chaos. Uh, the blood bells surge across Akshai and Archaon lets loose a Braxia, Spear of the Everchosen, upon Gairan. I love fantasy So lore. basically, so like her, that <gasps> spear is a demon spear that she has to always be in control. She has to be always like in control of it. Because basically, because of the whole thing they talk about, it's basically she, she, she loses her attention of it for like two seconds and grows massive horns and immediately tries to take over her body. 
For sure he's got to be in control of the I'll spear. be honest with you, Joe, I saw this. That looks fucking incredible. And I instantly thought to myself, how do I turn that into a Chaos Lord on Juggernaut for World Eaters? It wouldn't be hard. I don't think it would be that difficult, no. But that is... AOS just gets so much... The scopes for AOS are just brilliant every that time. That is gorgeous, yeah. isn't it? It's so nice. And it helps that it's painted beautifully as well, mm. as always. Um, so there, new model. I can't even get it whole thing on screen. I have to keep scrolling up and down. Yeah. She's gorgeous. Since her earliest days amongst the Spire Tyrants, Abraxia has fought tooth and nail to snatch life, victory, and power from the world around her. This, as far as she is concerned, is the true nature of chaos. The path to glory is a trial of the self to which the ruinous powers are but gibbering witnesses. Like, it's... I mean... Look at that. It's just great. It's just beautiful. This proud tenacity saw Abraxia work her way up in the ranks of swords. Blah, blah, blah. Much more lore. Much more lore. She comes in this fancy box. Is that a box? Yeah, that would be her special uh, uh, box set. The door Even the Chaos box. Horse people look cool. Those Varangard, right, are mental expensive. Are they? So whatever box set that comes in, buy it. It's a, it's a discount. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> I looked at getting, I think I looked at getting some Varangard for the um, the Chaos, and I was like, it's like 60, 70 quid for three three characters and horses. But the thing is, though, they are basically three characters and horses. Each one is just a beautiful. Yeah. A beautiful sculpt. It's a new book coming. Uh, and a great piece of seat. Look a at that. fucking cool piece of terrain. That's so cool. This is what, do you know what? Right, chat, I'm interested to know what you think about this, genuinely. Answers on postcards. I have forever sat in a place of mild bewilderment, right? Yeah. And I'll explain. I feel like we're getting to a point now, at least, where Age of Sigma lore is starting to become quite robust and quite good yeah. on the whole. Yeah. I think when it started, it was a bit weak, a bit all over the place. I think now it's become quite strong and quite decent in terms of narrative. I've read some narrative around some of the factions that I like, and I'm, it's quite grim and quite dark and quite evil. Fantasy is huge. The fantasy law space is huge. The fantasy law space is incredibly popular. If you look at other games that exist across things like, uh, or other um, uh, IPs that exist across things like Lord of the Rings, etc., like fantasy IP is huge. Age of Sigma, in my personal opinion, and I think this is echoed by a lot of people, yourself included, actually, just has a better model range overall. But by miles. It just does. Yeah. It has a better model range overall. It looks cool. It looks beautiful. Yeah. Every army has a cool centerpiece. It gets cool terrain pieces that we don't seem to see in 40k. And yet, statistically, 40k outperforms Age of Sigma like three to one minimum. Yeah. And I just kind of don't understand. Is it is it because Age of Sigma uh, 40k is so like ingrained in history and it's just got such a loyal fan base? It's been going for so long. Uh, is it because the narrative is just so much? I'm just trying to understand honestly understand this and it's not because I want to switch because that's not the case I, I but I, I just want to understand why Age of Sigma has still hasn't quite caught 40k up I blame television genuinely yeah I think I think kids growing up it's, it's all about sci-fi it's, everything's kind of sci-fi orientated isn't it like you like we we grew up in a time when the most popular things were like Highlander like Lord of the Rings like fantasy based series right Obviously, there was Star Wars and Star Trek and blah, blah, but fantasy films were massive. Like, la like so, like, Labyrinth and what's the other one? Dark Tower? Yeah. Like, so, so, like, so high fantasy was around when we were younger. It's not pushed so much now. And also, like, in films, fantasy films tend to struggle a bit more than sci-fi films. Better video game support. That's an interesting concept. Yeah. Sci-fi is cooler, but is it? I don't think so. So I love sci-fi. I'm mad on 40k. I don't want this to become a 40k bashing. I said to you earlier, like I said already on the stream, I'm, I'm having so much fun now. Yeah. I'm genuinely really enjoying myself. I love sci-fi. I love the 40k setting. I love the 40k narrative. I like fantasy more. I've always yeah. liked fantasy more personally. The, th the threat... I prefer fantasy because the threat in fantasy is higher because everything is immediate. And if you get in, like, na like, if you think about it, if you get in trouble in a fantasy situation um, and you want to get a message out, you have to send a bird, right? Yeah. A raven. Yeah. All right? Even. Uh, so, like, because if you're not magic, you can't do, like, a, a spell call, you know? Uh, you have to send something out. And that, and that has to get to the person. Then they have to rally their people. And then they have to get together. And that could be days, mm. at which point you're dead. 
So, like... Space, the thing is, in yeah. sci-fi, I find that sci-fi's always got this weird get-out-of-jail-free card. Yeah. Oh, we're in trouble. Teleport. Yeah. I don't know. I just... I, I'm not sure. I feel like... Yeah. I've, all, I've just... I, I, I accept the fact that perhaps 40K will always remain more popular than AOS, but I always felt that they'd be a lot closer than they actually are. Yeah. They just don't seem to be. And it just baffles me because I look at these models and the things that they release and the things they do with Age of Sigmar, and I, I bet there's a little part of the Age of Sigmar team that's going, what the fuck have we got to do? Yeah. We give you quite literally, like, my, again, my own personal opinion. Feel free to disagree with me. Just pay for it if you're going to. Um, like the, the Age of Sigmar team must be sat there going, literally make the best models in existence. Yeah. That's my honest opinion. Like, there's nothing out there. There's some 40k sculpts that are uh, fucking yeah. beautiful. I, I follow like War Games Illustrated and those and like War Games um, magazine and stuff on social media. And one of their and obviously they do historics mainly. And then one of the one of the guys did a post the other day saying, none of us here play Warhammer. None of us don't do anything really related to Games Workshop. But one of our members of staff has just started collecting Cities of Sigma. Because of the free guild, the cavalier general on the horse, because it comes in a lot of pieces in sub assemblies. It's a nightmare to build and pa like, to paint and then put together, but it is the best model any of us have ever seen in terms of quality and design. I'm like, yeah, it's, un it's undeniable. Yeah, it's undeniable. And anybody out there who says at the moment you can buy 3D print copies that are just the same, they're not. They're not the same. But I actually, what, you, say, you say that right. I see 40K 3D print stuff, and it's always advertised to me, because obviously everything I do online is normally pointed towards Warhammer, all 40K. You never see rip-offs of AOS. We well, don't, yeah. Right? And then, and what bewilders me, right? You have, this you have this technology to create models in your own home, right? And some of the quality of some of these printers is mental, uh -huh. right? Why do you choose to then print shitter versions of Games Workshop models? I don't get it. Age of Sigma stuff. I just, I'm just, I'm just curious as to why Age of Sigma hasn't quite yet caught up 40k. I don't think it'll ever fully catch it up, and I definitely don't think it will take it over. But I thought it'd be a lot closer. I am very. I'll be honest with you, chat. After like, I don't think the reveal itself was particularly exciting. The trailer's cool, but I am. Myself, very excited for new AOS, yeah. right? Now, I don't think the reveal was as exciting as it could be. I'm like you. I would have liked them to do that reveal video and then showcase a little bit of what's do, coming. Do you think, right, they do these... Because I was thinking about this in the car, mulling it over on the way over. Do you think they do these reveals for America, for their big audiences, because cause they don't get what we get in Warcom? The Warcom article, Warhammer Community article, goes up around, goes up throughout the day, doesn't it? Like it's like one at eleven, yeah. one at one, one at like four or five, it's all on UK time, isn't it? Really? Yeah, but like, so we get we get. Why does it stop everywhere else, Joe? I know, but the Americans get this big thing for them specifically at a really helpful time, whereas we get Warhammer Community articles all throughout the day, every day. Maybe uh, I don't think so. The Dwarven Mountain Holds. That model was cool, but it's not as cool as the special one they did. The Dwarves of the Old World are a word, but then they set out on the warpath. There are few forces that can stop them. Curmudgeonly. The Karaks are set upon the... Uh, this... Uh, are set to open their doors and force the Dwarven Mountain Holds come to Warhammer the Old World. You can see everything they're launching. Right here. It's not that I couldn't read it, Joe, and it's amazing that you can fuck up a super chat right in front of you. You can read that on a screen over there. It's bigger layers, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just kind of not that. I I'm going to be, again, I'm going to be straight up and frank right now. They've murdered Old World for me already. Old World's already dead for me. It's not dead as in I, I, I don't want to play it. I want to play the game, but they've already murdered it for what me. What they should have done, and I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, and all the old guys are going to be like, it's not the same. What they should have done is just done. Age of Sigma models on movement trays. Agree. I do, they just, it's, uh, they've already, like, what we're in now, we're on the 21st of March, right? Mm. And we've got minimal releases. Bretonians, uh, you can buy. Zombies, Barely. you can buy. Not zombies. Um, skeletons, you can buy. Mm. Tomb Kings, that's the one. Are Orcs and Goblins out yet? No. Good, so, right. So and there's, two, there's two armies out currently, and you can barely buy the models because they're always sold out. Yeah. It's just like, hey, here's this cool game that you can't play. 
No sooner have the Orc and Goblin tribes reared their nasty heads across the Og world than do their ancestral enemies emerge with ale in their bellies, grudges in their hearts, and black powder in their magazines. It's a dwarven mountain holds, and there are so many of them. This is all preamble if you'll get it. Oh, I don't... Here's some really old shitty models. We're going to sell them to you again for an inflated Those are price. technically the newest version of the plastics that got released. Those... Uh, little blimpy jobbies, the gyrocopters were like the last things like released for like AOS, like for I'm old a, world. I'm a dwarf fan, not bothered by this at all. Not bothered. It begin like dwarves are like axes and beards and yeah. fucking drinking beer. Right, that that appeals to me, Joe. It appeals to me. It sings to me yeah. as a person. It begins as things always do with jam packed battalion box. The dwarf version contains 66 managers, 32 obdurate dwarf warriors, 32 quarter uh, and two gyrocopters. It's an impressive call for any dwarf army, and it's only just the beginning, and there's no new models. Great, keep going. Good. New miniature. Oh, there's one here. Look. He looks great. That's uh, obviously a remake. Why is he not in the box? Why is the new miniature not in the box? Look. Why is he not? Why is this just all old stuff? I Make mean, money, innit? You know, uh, but these are they, had, they did a really cool special model version of that where it was the the white dwarf, uh, Bugmans, and um, who was the other one? He's cool, but Bungie, oh, whatever his name is. I'm not really bothered by him. It was that it was a lovely model. It was. There are four token miniatures for the dwarfs this time. The first two of these are dwarf lords who arrive in the same box. One lord born a bluffed. The shield bearers and the other on foot. The kit allows for one great weapon and one axe and shield. It has interchangeable heads and comes in plastic. There are four totally miniatures. The first two of these are in one box. Brilliant. Okay, so it's kind of three miniatures, really. Just padding it out. Um, cool. Whatever. He's cool. And yeah. he's cool. Yeah, the, he, this that guy. Is an absolute this guy's my favourite. This is my favourite one of all the Dwarven releases. This one's my favourite. This one right yeah. here. Right, he's cool as fuck. In the Forge World Resin. Ugh, all right, I'm done. No, I don't like it anymore. Uh, the Dwarf Thane with handgun, he's striking a pose on an Oath Stone, which makes him immune to psychology and forces enemies to accept his challenges. Also in Forge Blood Resin is a face you might just recognise. It's Ungrim Iron Fist. I was going to get him. Now I've found out it's Forge Blood Resin. Not he anymore. looks sick though, doesn't he? He's still the Slayer King of Karak Kadrin, and he strikes a younger and more limber figure as the first character to return to the Old World Legend with a glorious new model. Will he be the last? Who's to say? Plastic kits. Returning plastic. Forge your resin kits. Oh, God. They're murdering Old World for me, Jay. I'm, no, I'm... Those, these guys here, uh, those Slayer kits, I'm pretty sure they were a regiment of renown. The Slay that Slayer. I'm pretty sure they're older than I am. Look at the state of them. Yeah. Look, at, look at these things. Yeah, that guy, in the, that's, ain't the, that's only a face a mother could love, isn't it? Uh, I don't, I'm not going to read any more of it. Every single time I get another Old World article that comes out 64 weeks they're, after the last one, I lose more they interest. They are scraping the, the, like, the barrel. Because like, they're using models that when I played fantasy, people wouldn't use because they were old. The thing is as well, to put that straight after the Age of Sigma model releases is murdering yourself. Night and day, the quality. Night and day. And I just think that Old World is... I'm now getting to a point, genuinely, where I feel a little bit like Old World is a bit of a cash grab. I feel like it's like, so obviously they stopped doing the old world and Warhammer Fantasy was. People complained and upset. And then they went and played of Kings of War and like Oathmark Man and stuff like oh, that. They went and played all these other games, like Song of Fire and Ice. And everyone was like, and the games actually were like, no, we started it. Uh, we're going to re release it. Stop giving your money to other companies. That's basically it. You're already 3D printing models anyway. Uh, but you're buying rule sets from other people, we're just going to get you to buy them from us instead. Yeah. They, that's what's happened here. I'm, I'm sorry, chat. I don't want to be negative about uh, anything, really. But I was so excited with the announcement of Old World. And I, at this rate, we're going to get to the end of 2024, and every faction won't have been released yet. And that's, like, for... If, if, or if it's like Age of Sigma, if it's like 40k, right, where all the model ranges are currently already available and purchasable on the website, cool. But you're talking about releasing a whole game system with multiple factions and not launching all the factions at once. It's You're murdering yourselves by not doing this. Get the fucking factions on the website. Get the at least the old stuff. Get the old stuff on the website and then slowly but surely release the new models for those for those factions, yeah. if that's what you want to but do. Well, it's mad, right? Because obviously... Um... Warriors of Chaos as a player is the is a supported faction, isn't it? In the book, and obviously you have to wait for war to to 
months and months and months to, uh, to just basically get old Warhammer Fantasy Warriors of Chaos models, the, those ones, which at the time were great. They were, be, they were lovely models. But things though, as they've shown, they're releasing oh. new Warriors of Chaos models and they're stunning. I also haven't read out a part that says the only way to get hold of the dwarf rules is they'll be in the box. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> All right, I'm going to go find it again. It's in here somewhere. Right, where is it? It's in the box. Is it the Boxster? Uh, any budding thing will want to get his hands on this ancient wisdom contained uh, contained in arcane general dwarven mountain hearts. A 48 page treatise containing the full information on what the dwarven kingdoms are up to during this time period. Two armies of infamy and a handful of executes and magical items. The two special characters whom you may remember from uh, the reference cards pack covers all the rules, plus useful rules and anvil divinities, which would dice demonstrate your prize. All blah, blah. It's, it's written here somewhere, isn't it? Uh, it comes in plastic. Uh, uh, I don't. I can't remember where I saw it. Where is crying? Read up. Read, it would that be read. up by the book though? Skim the read. Skim read. Skim read. Skim read. Skim read. Skim read. Skim read. Uh, Prince, a uh, musician. Uh, on top of that, you'll confirm a future. Uh, you can't show the crime. Uh, oh, I don't know where I saw it. Oh, here. Are. Note their rules are not published in the Arcane Journal. These will instead be included in the box packaging. That's for the star, which is there. The other contains five Dalty Dwarf Warriors. Oh, okay, so it's only the Warriors. You can get the rest of it in the Arcane Journal. Oh, that's this stuff. okay, then. Okay, that would have been much worse, yeah. I, I read the bottom line and was like, ha! I'm just saying, if they're, gonna re if they're not going to release those rules separately, they're in some trouble. Right, while we're at Underworlds, we'll skim through this very quickly now, chat, because of the time. If you've Ooh. got questions, comments, or memberships to gift, we're on 28 new members, chat, right now. Mm. Um, if you've got anything you want to say, start getting it in there now. Joe will be reading it out soon. We're going to skim through some of the last stuff. We have got a big one to cover, and that's Chaos Space Marines. So new box set for Warcry, which have got some incredible... I warn you now, some of the coolest models I've ever seen, right? This new Warcry box set. Look at My favourite, two midgets in the trench coat. Look <laughs> at two humans in the trench coat. You see his little leg there. Whee! That yeah. is a quality model, though. I love that. He's cool as shit. That's cool as shit. These like like epic looking, looking little servitor things. They're just like slaves that have... Are, are the rods to gather... Are they not going to die when when lightning hits the top of their head? Are they not just going to die? Maybe, yeah. But it looks like they're expendable, Joe. Yeah. But this one here in the coat, look how cool that model is. That's so cool, isn't it? Isn't that cool? It's I, fucking amazing. I think that's a... That is pretty baller. Although if you look at his little face here... He I think, I think the bad. one on the top of him has either wet himself or farted. Yeah. He's yeah. like, mm, I don't like this. Yeah. I pulled the short straw on this one. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Underworlds. And then you've got this extra stuff, which is going to get Joe excited. They look cool. That big bat guy the is baller, isn't cool, and he? he? He is amazing. Oh, I love it. Look <sighs> at this. How can you release dwarfs on the same day? I, this, is this is my point. This is my point. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. It's, Look at these. The scopes for what will be like a 50 quid box set, you know? Compare this to what we've just seen with those dwarves, night and day. Yeah. More stuff on Underworlds. We're not going to cover it too much because we don't cover it on the channel, really. Basically, box is worth it just for the models, 100%. Absolutely beautiful, right? And then there's Warcry, another cool, well-supported box set. More Age of Sigmar focused, I think. I don't know the difference between Warcry and... Oh, so Warcry is more like a... Kind of kill team mess game yeah. where you use, but the dice that you roll have little symbols on them. Whereas Underworld's like a board game. Underworld is like has a, has a board and it's a game, and you have a deck, and then you use those decks to the, the deck of cards to move your models yeah. around and buff them up. And this stuff. is something I was quite excited by because it's Sylvaneth and Bone Reapers. Both the factions terrain I quite for this like. game is stunning. Yeah, by the way. Uh, so the Bone, bone Reapers, the Boner Men, the Bone Men on horses, kind of cool. Look, you have to scroll across, scroll sideways, so you can see the other guy. Too far. The cool dog, those things look cool as shit. They're they super do. cool, yeah. I'm a big fan of them. I love them. These are creepy as hell. They're epic. They're I can't amazing. decide whether I love them or I'm slightly terrified. I, I think they are amazing little models. If you got attacked by that on a dark night, you'd poop your pants, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, they're cool as shit. I love those. Uh, but Bow Reapers with big spear guys, like them. I like Bow Reapers, don't they? They've been squatting. Look at those. Yeah, look at those chunky corn. thighs, yeah. aren't they? Another Bow Reaper man with a horse. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's fucking sick. 
and the dogs. We're back to the start. Yeah. So there's more Bone Reaper stuff. And, then, oh. and now hentai trees. Hentai trees. <laughs> Look at her. That is an incredible model, isn't it's it? It's busy though, isn't it? Painting that to be a nightmare. Yeah. A nightmare. You probably... Oh, but the beehives are cool as shit, Joe. I really like evil Sylvaneff. Evil Sylvaneff is the way to Dark, go, yeah. Like um, the druids type, yeah. No happy trees, only angry trees. They're fucking cool. They're so cool. The old Revenant tree stuff is just well, amazing. little tentacles. He's cool. They're both just awesome. They look pretty terrifying, don't they? And then you've got some dryads. Are they new dryads? They, they look like new dryads. Yeah, they are new dryads, aren't they, I think? Are they new dryads? They look like new dryads in the sense that you get three of them. They're cool. Okay. And then you've got a cool, <laughs> sexy... Tr- what the fuck is that? It's like, it's like Star Wars. Just a very excited tree. Yeah. I think I had an ex that looked like that. Yeah. Um, right. So, that's I mean, Warcry. I mean, that's a, a beautiful box set. And I love the Warcry train. Train? Terrain as well. I would love to do a board of Warcry terrain. But the problem is, it's mad expensive. And it, it just they just discontinue it after like two weeks. So like, you've had your chance. Yeah, that's sad because the terrain is glorious. Yeah. Right, chat. Now it is time to get gifting. All right, because now is the time when Joe gets excited. Chaos Space Marines is the big words there. I'm going to go to the toilet. I'm so excited. He goes to the toilet. Do you, want, do, you want to, do you want to do the super chats? No. The chats that can't be stopped. Money on Twitter, if Twitter gives you members, Joe. Well, I know, but, yeah, but they, these ones have paid money to, to talk to you. Exclamation mark gift in chat. Oh, can I do it on here? Have I been able to do it on here the whole time and you don't do it? Like this. Yeah, our gift. Has it worked? Oh, it works. Look at that. Okay, where do we get to? We've got to Tony. Jill, thank you for the gifted membership. Celtic Failure, thank you for five gifted memberships. You absolute legend. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. You're a hero. Cass, thank you for the two. New Hebu Khan HH Morris model on Warcom. As in, like, released today. I mean, that's cool, but I'm not going to look at it at the moment. Uh, Jill, thank you for the five. They don't, know, they don't know that we know that they know. Joe is our keeper of secrets. I know, I know, terrible, isn't he? Don't ever ask him for information, for Christ's sake. Uh, Chris, thank you for the 20. My hypothesis on the popularity of 40k over Sigma is that the silly stigma of grown men playing toy soldiers is starting to disappear, but there is still some left, and there is an added stigma to the fantasy element. Do you reckon? Do you not think that things like Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter and all that kind of stuff has lifted a lot of that stigma? Like, I feel like, I feel like, Chris, there is less stigma around Lord of the Rings than there is around Star Trek. I also probably would go as far as to say I feel like there's less stigma around all the rings than there is around Star Wars, if I'm honest with you. So I don't disagree that the stigma of grown men playing with toy soldiers is starting to disappear or starting to lift. I think that's correct. But I still think there is more stigma around Star Wars, Star Trek, and those kinds of what people would call those kinds of geeks, etc. We're all geeks, you know. Uh, than there is around, say, Lord of the Rings or, or something akin to Lord of the Rings. Maybe that's just me. I just feel like... Maybe, I'm, maybe I just read it differently because um, I'm used to, or I, I'm in the fantasy world outside of the channel at least. It's an interesting, it's an interesting concept. It is an interesting concept, but I, I don't know. I, think, I feel like, Joe, yes? who's a bigger geek? A Star Trek viewer or a Lord of the Rings viewer? Star Trek. Who's a bigger geek? A Star Wars viewer or a Lord of the Rings viewer? Okay, good. So Chris said, I just, wanted to, I just wanted to test, right? Chris said, my hypothesis on the popularity of 40K of Sigma is that the stigma of grown men playing toy soldiers is starting to disappear, but there is still some left, and there is an added stigma to the fantasy element. And I was like, I feel like Star Trek, Star Wars, which is sci-fi, have, has always been considered more geeky than, say, Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Even Harry Potter, which is more fantasy. Mm. Harry Potter is not quite fantasy, but it is magic it's, and stuff, It's like right? high fantasy. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. But I, th- I find that... Um, Fantasy is more accepted um, because of the quality of thing programming that you get from it, right? If you think, right, what are the, some of the biggest TV programs of the last five, six years, like, apart, outside of Marvel? TV programs? Yeah, they've done really well. Vikings? Vikings. Yeah. Um, was it the Last Empire, or it's called Last Kingdom? Last Kingdom, yeah. Witcher. Yeah, Witcher, yeah. Um, until they murdered it. Until they murdered it. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, yeah. 
Uh, it had a lot. It had a lot of bad backlash, but Rings of Power. Rings of Power. Right. Well, there's a ton. Of, whenever I bring that up, there's a ton of people in chat that say they like. They quite enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, so there is a good. There is a big like, audience. At the end of the day, like, like, you like what you like. Yeah. Like, Sometimes you're wrong. Even if, yeah. Even if you're wrong. Um, <laughs> but like, e like even to, like so like some of these the biggest most successful programs are either drama documentary series or fantasy. Yeah. Because more often than not, I find it comes from a much older generation. They're like, I'm not watching that. It's about space. Space is boring. Like you've got Stranger Things, which is like sci-fi but, 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 but the but thing, thing is, not. so Chris was trying to answer my question as to why um, why fantasy, well, not fantasy, sorry, why Age of Sigma hasn't caught up 40k. And actually the conversation that you and I are now having based on that super chat is yet strengthening my bewilderment as to why it hasn't caught up. Because you're going, all the cool stuff recently was all fantasy maybe, TV shows. Maybe it's an age thing. Like, maybe, maybe. Like maybe it is. The reason why these programs are successful is because they're targeting a much older audience. Yeah, possibly. Um, a much more sophisticated audience. You children could go bait with your space aliens, you know? Yeah. Like, like, because spaceships and aliens is called to children. Can and you, Joe. Also, can you look at the camera right now and beg for gifted memberships like you do models and the only things? Because it works in the things. Yeah, but I can send nudes to them. <laughs> <laughs> They've all got my number. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> um, please send memberships. No, I was only joking, Joe. Prometheus give, Please RC. give memberships. <laughs> Joe, I'm joking. I will rattle my can. Clang, clang, clang. Um, I know that memberships are great because if you gift a membership, right, you, someone can now go and to, into our Discord and talk to a great community of people. Yeah. Um, and they share memes and pictures and... There's a groups where they can sell things, and there's a groups where they can just talk to each other about personal stuff. Yeah, you know, like uh, if you've got a, a charity you like, we can like you share that in there. You can share pictures, pictures of your work. It's a safe space. It's not like 40k for grown-ups because that is the 4chan of the Warhammer community. Um, it's it's great. We've got great like-minded people in there. Right, you can you you can meet up. Yeah, it's incredible, actually. And if you look at some of the other levels as well, if you get a gifted membership, you can upgrade. We do only things, uh, WhatsApp chats, yeah. we do Yarl's giveaways. And then we've There's got members only stream, only members. Can... On Tuesdays, only members can chat. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Crumpets Panda, thank you for the five gifted. Look at that. We're going to get up to, like, 35 now. Amazing. No, 33. I love crumpets, panda. I've got that. I've got that piece of artwork. I like crumpets and I like pandas. Yeah. Uh, Pro Prometheus RC, thank you for the five. They should. They shouldn't have released Legions Imperialis. Instead, focus on Old World and release them all at once. Now they don't have the capacity for the Old World. I agree. They've tried to chuck too much out. I, I absolutely agree. They've chucked too many new things out at once. Um, okay. But then, that being said, I say when I say I agree, and I say they've chucked too many new things out at once. I'm not a business manager. Well, I am a business manager, but not at that scale. I'm not. A, I'm most certainly not a retail business manager or a new product development person. I, like I, I have opinions. They're my opinions. I, I personally feel like they've chucked too I, much out. I would be interested to find out how much, how much of a success, Games Workshop would gauge Legion's Imperialis. Right. I don't know any. Well, so Dave B, yeah. one of our incredible mods. Have shared photos in the things of him painting in Legion's Imperialist, right? Yeah. I don't literally, and I, I mean, no disrespect to Dave, because he's, he's painting his little models away and he's really excited by it. I genuinely, personally, don't know anybody else in the hobby who's building apart and painting. From, and apart from Dave, yeah. um, I know one person in another group who likes it, but it's like a little side piece. And then there's a club in, in Minehead where I used to live, and about five of them are doing it there. But that's about it, really. Um, and, I, and I was nowhere else I've seen people go mad for it because I was like if I want to play Heresy I'll just use the Heresy models that I already own if I wanted to play Heresy I'd play it full size yeah I just would I, I just kind of thought if they hadn't like because at the end of the day Titanic is probably wasn't doing great financially and they thought how can we make this better everyone's asking for Epic so we're going to give them not Epic Titanic is like a good game though Titanicus was the best game you've never played. Yeah, I wanted to play it. It was great. It was a great game, but it, again, large monetary investment to play a game that not many people are playing. Yeah. Dave, thank you for the tea. This is where we're talking about the old world and how I, I feel like they've killed it for me. 
right? So this is a direct response to that. Agree with you, Liam, and how excited was I? So Dave was one of the most excited people I've ever known for Old World. From the very first day he started watching the channel, two, three years ago, he was putting square bases in chat all the time, he yeah. remembered. And they've kind of, like, like one of, in fact, probably the person who I knew who was the most excited for Old World out of everyone I spoke to, and he's going, I'm a bit done with it already now. It's that's just, that's how bad it's the just a bit half-hearted. They're like yeah. it's the kind of the release of like, it's like the equivalent of like asking your parents to take you to the shops when you're a kid, and they're like, "We'll go, but I won't be happy when I'm there." Yeah, Jay says I'm doing it for myself. No, I get it, mate. I'm not criticizing you doing Legion of Pearl Arts. What I'm saying is, like, I don't feel like the interest in it has warranted bringing it out at the same time as Old World and perhaps not focusing on one of those systems where they could have done a better job releasing them. Yeah. Like, I feel like they should have split them up more. Uh, Bereza27, thank you for the two. Joe, have you watched X-Men 97 yet? No. Oh, right. right. And the reason being is I want to wait for it all to come out. It's because they're like, they're like two episodes a week or something, which is not one of my biggest issues with Disney+. Plus. And also, I'm a bit worried in the sense that everything that comes out from, from Disney at the moment... They're like, we've re remade something that you love. It's like, but it might be good. Might not be. It won't be good. But you never know. Um, so I'm waiting until it's all out, because if I really enjoy it, I hate having to wait two weeks to get one more episode. So what I tend to do with all Marvel series is wait for them all to be released and then sit down uh, over like a weekend and yeah. watch them. Okay, well, there um, you go. So he hasn't watched it yet, but you I haven't, but I will. Star Point, thank you for the two. To bring positive, Josh got very excited about AOS. AOS stuff looks great. Yeah. Like, it is great. It, it looks he did great. a watch along last night. Did How it? silly must he fool? Oh, my God. I couldn't imagine getting up at three. Unless he didn't. Well, he, like, he's he's, he's late, awake, isn't he? Right, isn't he? Yeah, he might just like, he's, He is like one of those people that, like, he's just a vampire at this point. Or... Yeah. Bradman, thank you for the five. Uh, 40K is still fantasy with just guns. Tanks, additional sci-fi gubbins. The Sigma models are prettier, but they also seem more intimidating to build and paint. That's a fair point. Look, I, I, That's yeah, a fair point. I think... A right, if you look at the AOS tables at a tournament, like the tables are a lot prettier than 40k tables. And you do find that a lot of people really go for it when it comes to painting. Well, so but the, yeah. I, the, I've seen 40k tables, you know, first LGT notwithstanding, you've seen 40k tables, so they'll literally play with anything if it looks like L shapes. Yeah. Don't care. It's, it's functional competitive terrain. I'll use white polystyrene, which yeah. literally is first LGT. They don't do that anymore, but that was. And people are mm. like, I'm playing on, I'll play on it. I don't feel like Age of Sigma people would accept the same kind no, of thing. No, I felt they're kind of like... I, I kind of like them in the sense that sometimes I mean, they're like, I put a lot of effort into my army. I expect people playing this game to also put a lot of Agree. effort into their army. But the great thing about AOS models is that the, the level and detail is so high that you can contrast them and they look good. Like if you go Agreed. and watch a War Hipster tutorial, he only uses Games Workshop paints right. and 90% of them are contrast. He's going to get enough promotion off of us next week, all right? We're gonna have to blow him off now as well. well okay. I'm just trying to say that it, like, to get into AOS, it's quite easy. <laughs> yeah, thank you so for the five, Brandon, you're here. And before we get into the, the bit that Joe's excited about, why I was hoping that we'd just go through some more gifters as well, but we only got five more from Mr. Crumpets Panda. Wild Bill, thank you for the 10. Fantasy is less nerdy in the 21st century because of the greater commercial success of Lord of the Rings, A Song of Ice and Fire, Game of Thrones, HOTD? House of the Dragon. Oh, okay, yeah. Theoretically, I have watched that, but apparently it's quite good. Theoretically, if Amazon Stroke Cavill can create a good 40k show, sci-fi will be mainstream. But yet, which I, and I agree with everything you've just said, 100%, but yet 40k is still significantly bigger than Age of Sigma. That's my confusion. Like, I figured Age of Sigma would catch up. I'm hoping... Now it's established, so it's, it has had three years, uh, three um, versions. They have always built on that first version that was a bit of a flop when it very first came out. Upset a lot of people who had played fantasy. Um, they didn't do a great job. If you've got a better beard than your opponent, you get this rule. If you shout this word louder, this thing happens. We're not going to do any points if at all. If you have a stein of beer, this happens. Yeah. And I think, although I, I, I get the intent to try and make it super fun and random, and some of it was hilarious, and there's still, I think Nagash still has a rule. I still think that there is a place, right? Um, it needs to be charged again. So imagine... You've only used 2%. There, there is an addition in Magic the Gathering called Unhinged, right? And twisted and Unhinged, where the cards are just silly nonsense. Mm. Like... 
take this card, tear it up into six equal pieces for up in the air, whatever it touches, remove those cards from the game. Right? There's one which is like Goblin SWAT Team, where uh, every turn you have to hit the table. And if you don't, you discard it kind of thing. Just stuff like that. Just weird, silly things. Like if you've got squirrels, you have to have acorns. If you don't, then they leave kind of thing. So like stuff like that. I still think that there is a place for a silly version of AOS. Yeah. Where, But not as the game. Not as the game. Yeah. Agreed. Much like Combat Patrol, Warcry, you have your own unhinged version of AOS. Kind of like, so you can be like, this is for the people that want to have a Friday night piss up in their garage, drinking, drinking beer, having pizza, having a laugh, being stupid. Yeah. yeah. I think that. So our streams. So our, our streams. Yeah. I think I think that there is a place for that. Like, like you. But if you're a dwarf player, you have to have a beard. You know. Mm. If you're a night goblin player, you have to be really into hoodies. If you're a night goblin, you have to look like Eddie. Yeah. Yeah. And go all the time. Mm. Also good for Skaven. Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. Um, so there we go. Uh, that is all the super chats and memberships done so far. Of course, you can keep sending them if you want to. We will get through them. We have an article to go though, Jay. I know. Is there more than one article? There's another. There's more, yeah. There's, oh, there's a, oh, oh, yeah, but yeah. the last two are a bit. Like That's we can go okay. for those pretty quickly. Right. We're going to we're going to kill team first. Oh. We're saving it for Jay! Exclamation mark gift. <laughs> kill team termination. Right. Another, another new kill team box. This is one of those things where I don't actually play Kill Team, but I always get slightly excited about Kill Team boxes. I get so excited about Kill Team boxes as well. They do good job, right? Right. They do good job. They do good job. So yeah. here's a new Kill Team box with new Votan for Joe. Oh, they look cool. I fucking love them. And new Brute. So here's a new Jotan. Yeah. They do look pretty cool. I really they? like the guy in like the, the 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 beanie. I just love him. I just love the like the. The, oh, it just looks great. These, this team is great. These are Votan. So this is my opinion. All opinions are mine and on my own. These are Votan as they should have looked from the start. Yes. This is what Herfkin Warriors should have been. This is what Votan should have been. Yeah. This is Votan with character. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Uh, these things look amazing. I do, I do like... I, I would be tempted to paint that guy. Like, that sniper... Looks incredible. Yeah, he looks by really the way. good. He looks amazing. Trout, thank you for the five gifted memberships. All right. But oh, this guy here with the sound, I'd have to t paint his little his little. I realise that green. we weren't sharing the screen right now, so there we go. Oh. You, you gifted five members, so I shared now, you see. Yeah. The guy with the, the little thing on, Peter Green, he's like Sam Fisher. Yeah. Splinter Cell. So this is the new Kill Team stuff. For reference, <sighs> the first spot lot we were looking at, chat, you didn't deserve it, then Trout gifted five, so you now deserve it. These guys, these are Votan. This is what we're saying. These are Votan so as they should have cool. been. Right? This is what they should have been. That guy's okay. got like a weird missile launcher Piat kind of thing going on there. I also love the fact that they're leaning into everyone loves a crossbow. Yeah. We were I saying this before stream. It was like, Games Workshop's got a real thing for crossbows at the moment. Leaving all, even the axe is cool as shit. Yeah. All right? The shotgun looks cool. I'm into it. I can't wait to paint these. These are... Look at Double Pistol Man, Joe. He's so cool. That... That face is a bit... Yeah, th that th model... That's a bit of a miss, that face. That model's... That the model, body is fine. No, the model the in general's a bit weird. The body is round. <laughs> the body <laughs> is round. But I don't... <laughs> they look weird with the coats done up. She's really happy to be out the kitchen. They look like the baddies from the Super Mario movie. The, the first one. Oh, back to the start. They are... You're, I good. agree with you. These are what war warriors should have been. Like, this yeah. is this is Votan with character. If the whole army... Because the, the, the pioneers had the kind of coats on and stuff as well. Yeah. If the whole army looked like this, I'd have I'd have creamed at the pictures, let alone when the model. Yeah. So I, I, I have been on record. When they, when they announced Photan originally, I was like, the model range, I'm not into it. I don't like it. It looks kind of boring. And then when you built them and painted them, I look, and I got them in hand, I was like, yeah. okay, they look better I, in person. I was not interested in building and painting that army at all. And then when I started, I was like, I kind of love it. Yeah. I really like it. The ones really good. My only worry about this unit, right? Because when you go through the pictures, they all look cool. They're dynamic. They've, it, every single model looks different, and I love that because each one is personal and unique. The downside is they're all carrying different guns. Yeah. Which means that in the 40k crossover, is this going to be a unit that Brom loves to play? Yeah. Right. Despite the fact that he really shouldn't. Yeah. Is that what I've got? I've got I've got six squads. 
every man has got a different gun. Oh, oh for yeah. fuck's And every sake. time I use a de- gun that I've used before, I have to check the data yeah. card again. They're all a different range, a different strength, different AP, different damage. Okay. And these look f- brilliant. The, I'm, I'm honest with you, the paint job helps these a lot as well. Yeah. It's like, because they're just Cadian, but they're just Cadians with different heads. And so the new, K- the new Cadian models, gorgeous anyway, right? The new yeah. Cadian models is the first time I'd ever thought, looks at Cadians, you've gone, they're cool as shit. Yeah. I love Cadians, right? And they've given them some, do- some new heads and some other bits and bobs. Let's have a look. So, a little bit of a dangly symbol there, look. Yeah. A little bit of a Gene Stillery arm there, look. And a head with a knob on it. Like yeah. that. Uh, Eddie head. He's there got the little, the little June nostril thing going yeah. on in that guy. There we go. Some more little heads, a little banner, a little stick grenade, another little chain, and that with his little nose pipe. He's like, look, look at my symbol. These are really nice. They are good. They're really, really nice. Keep going. Um, with his little bag, his yeah. little crazy face. Uh, it, That's a cool sniper rifle, isn't it? Little GC their arm. It's got a massive shotgun. Little GC their arm there, look, coming out. <sighs> right, you, that fucking that, head. That right there, that guy there, that right, head is cool as shit. Makes me sad for one reason. Why? A unit that we lost many moons ago, and we haven't had a return of. I think they should come back. Imperial Guard veterans. Oh, don't. Do you remember the days when you could have an entire ten-man squad of guard with shotguns? Yeah, I used to remember they would take squads of five veterans and have four sniper rifles. Oh, oh that's, that's, that's a good that's time. time. That's a good time. More models that we've already seen in the box. Yeah, I love these. Right, I, I love terrain, as we all know. But I love a little plasma generator with a little door in it. They can go in it and clean it, you know? There we go. So that is, excuse me, that is Kill Team. I'm, all, I'm conscious we're over time already. We're only on um, 39 members, Jay. Oh. But the bit you've been waiting for, Jay. Oof. Chaos Space Marines with the Galaxy in Turmoil. The, here's the 40k part, right? We've kept 360 of you watching for 90 minutes to finally get to the 40k stuff. With the Galaxy in Turmoil, the powers of Chaos are ascendant and war bands of Chaos Space Marines surge forth to despoil the Imperium in the Dark God's names. Joining them is a brand new Codex Chaos Space Marines and two new Chaos Lords. I mean, he already looks fucking cool. And I'll be honest with you, the second I saw him, I was like, new master executions for the world he is. Do you, know why that, uh, do you know why that model looks good? Like, incredible. Like, he's a bi- he is stunning. Yeah. But that model already exists. It's Abaddon. It's the same pose as Abaddon. It's the exact same pose as Abaddon. He's just pose looking, at different, he's looking at a different, a different direction. No, it's not. The galaxy is in turmoil. We've read that one already, haven't we? Uh, the Chaos Space Marines once again slipped from their fetters and rampage across the Imperium with so many warbands reaving and pillaging since the opening of the Great Rift. A new coterie of powerful Chaos Lords have risen up to seize power. Coterie? Coterie. Coterie, yeah. In two new kits. The new Chaos Lord cuts an imposing figure with loads of trophies and accoutrements befitting a barbaric war leader from a leering stomach plate to the customary rack of skulls on the backpack. He Look is at him. Incredible. He is beautiful, isn't he? That is. And we are saying this, chat, as two people that like chaos, to be yeah. fair. He like it's it's a like one thing that you've been missing from a lot of characters recently, especially from the like the horror series, there's no dynamicism, there's no there's, there's no feel behind them. They all just kind of look a bit dead and a bit meh, kind of, But this guy, it just looks threatening. The pose is cool as well. Yeah. Like he looks like a leader. He yeah. looks cool. He's got his really tactical rock, cool. yeah. which, and the good thing, right, a lot of people hate tactical rocks. I hate tactical rocks. Right? But as someone who, who convert, always makes a fancy base, I love me a fancy base. I, d- I wouldn't mind tactical rocks if they always were completely separate from the foot. Yeah, that looks like he's separate because the foot's got a slight overhang. If I they're always great. separate from the foot, I'm okay. Yeah. But when half the foot's glued to the tactical rock, I'm like, you bastard. By the looks of it, that's a large piece that he's glued on. They've kind of put sand up the sides. What I like about that is that I can make a fancy base and put him on it, and I could have three models the same, different arms, but different bases, but they'd still look different. Yeah. Uh, Excuse me, chap. Uh, he just looks great. He's sex. And that's a pointy helmet I like the look of. Uh, and he's got, he's got different weapon variants as well. Yeah, he's like nice. Uh, the kit is full of weapon options, in fact, Joe. Choose from a chain axe and a cursed maul or a demon hammer mm. in his right hand and a plasma pistol or power fist in his left. There is also a choice of horned helmet or bare head, and we're not sure which is more intimidating. This is bare head look. Oh, he's got a right frowny face there. He's got a right frowny face. Yeah. Him. But that's a cool hammer, isn't it? That hammer is that sick. That's just like a 
chunk of concrete he's put. He's and if you think about it, right, power fist and axe, hammer and uh, it looks like a different model. Yeah, hammer and a cursed power mall. Looks like a different model. There's the power fist. There's the plasma pistol. There's the hammer. Fucking sick. Yeah. As always. While some lords are perfectly comfortable taking to the field on foot, others prefer to scream across the sky and get stuck in as fast as possible. A jump pack is the perfect tool for capturing, for, for catapulting, not capitulating, catapulting yourself to glory <laughs> and godly favour. So why not strap one on and unleash hell from the sky? Strap skies? one on. All right. We now you weren't. I so, think right, this is I was, sick. I wasn't expecting this because I was hoping for a Terminator Lord, a new Terminator. But I can I can get over that. It's fine, right? I'm not sure about the pose, but I feel like it's kind of like I listen because it's kind of like he's he's doing like the Star Lord from Marvel, jumping sideways, shooting the gun kind of thing. Um, it's just not a threatening. Like the other guy, when if you go up to the other guy, right? Well, he's a threatening boy, isn't he? Look at him there. He's so menacing, right? And this guy's like, wee! <laughs> <laughs> Off I go. He's just not... Okay. He's not got that level of threat about him. I think he looks really cool. He look, all right, like, Let's be honest. The sculpting is great. The, the model itself is perfect, and I love it. And the fact that we're getting a jump pack lord back is a dream answered. Because you know me... I love combat. I don't well, like I mean, to be honest with you, Joe, it depends entirely on what he does to the unit he joins. That's the question, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I don't. I don't want him to be a chaos space marine, a captain, or a normal captain in the sense of like you get a stratagem for free and you get plus one strength on the charge. We Chris Sanford's nailed it. Is it Dante's pose? It's literally Dante. It is. It's, it's literally Dante. It's the same. That's just ruined it for Joe, Chris. <laughs> Let's be honest. Let's be honest, Chris, right? I'm going to convert the shit out of this. Yeah. The Chaos Lord with Jump Pack is caught in a dynamic pose, Joe. Oh, it's not going dynamic. Wee, right as he's crashing down into or jumping off from his unfortunate it, prey. Right, that is not the pose of a man crashing down into a unit. A pat, no. A power axe or fist can be paired with a plasma pistol or bolt pistol, giving the Lord a balanced combo loadout. Perfect for all kinds of foes. Night Lords fans will be glad to know that the classic pair of lightning claws is also returning to shred as much as possible in close combat. Now this one looks much cooler. He mu he looks much better. He still looks like he's jumping away. He's Whee! like a ha! But it's still it's more he that looks more imposing. He's coming in for a jumping cuddle. Yeah. He's a cooler model, but then the paint job is I nice on that as well. The problem is, right, it might just be the angle, because obviously this is like a very front-on picture. From the side, or a more of an angle, he might look a bit more... Well, let's be honest with you. Let's be honest, right? We are well accustomed to Games Workshop's photography department, not necessarily. Hmm. Or they kind of have this, we take pictures from here. And I'm like, mm, yeah, but you could take it from here to give you full Why dynamic pose. With these things, right? Why do they never... Because they have the capability because they put it on the units. Why don't they have a revolving... A spinny one. A yeah, spinny one. Do. There's also a whole new Codex Chaos Space Marines coming, Joe. Packed with new rules, attachments, and crusade content that no one uses to sink your teeth into. It's one of the largest codexes so far with eight detachments. I love it because Chaos, Eightfold Star, etc. Yeah, yeah, Amazing. Yeah. They capture the fighting styles of classic traitor legions as well as other renegade forces like piratical raiders and devotees of Vashtar the Archiphane, another unit that no one uses. To celebrate the new laws stepping into the limelight, there's got to be big box sets in the works. And as usual, the Chaos Space Marines deliver something terrifying, spiky, and effective. This so box set one. is fucking incredible. Well, right. depending on the price. Right, depending on the price. But... Right. If you if if you went to Games Workshop, I want a Chaos Space Marine box set, but I only want the good shit. All right. Don't waste my time with the trash. And they've gone. Here it is. Yeah. There you so go. five Terminators, five chosen, uh, ten Legionnaires, five more Terminators, five possessed Chaos Lord. So ten Terminators, five possessed, ten Legionnaires, five chosen Chaos Lord. It's a good box. That's a great box. And let's be. It's right. only going to be priced at a saving as right. well. And that right, as a cap. Right. If you're clever. Right, if you're a clever man, right? Those ten legionnaires don't have to be legionnaires. There's enough bot bits in between that chosen squad and that legionnaire squad that you could have fifteen chosen. You could make more chosen, yeah, probably. And it, and, and it would look great. 
The veterans of the Longer Battle Force is the perfect core to Chaos Space Mizami, with the new Chaos Lord on foot leading a hand picked bodyguard of five chosen. The box also includes 10 Legionnaires, 10 Chaos Commanders, and five Possessed. It's a very good box. If you've not played Chaos before, or you've got a little bit of Chaos and you want to expand it, this is just going to be a good box. It's yeah. just going to be good That's value. That's everything that you want in an army. The one thing that I am a little bit nervous of, and it's going to happen, so I don't know why I'm nervous of it, so I'm just going to say it. You guarantee, for the first two months at least, it's the only way you're going to get hold of that new Chaos Lord is in that box set. But wait, where's the other new Chaos Lord? Because we couldn't just sell you one box, Joe. The only way we're going to get you to get both of these Chaos Lords is by selling you two fuck off big boxes. He needed some allies to join him in an airborne yeah. assault. So he's got a whole separate army box coming into land. So instead of just paying 120 uh, odd quid uh, and getting both characters, Joe, you're going to have to spend 240 odd quid and get both. Don't scroll down yet, right? Right. Yeah, I, I know what you're about to say. Right. But wait, there's a second assault. He needs some allies to join him in, in an, an airborne, airborne assault. assault. Let's have a look what this looks like. Oh, cultists. Good. Good. Because <laughs> they're well known for flying. Because you often catapult cultists yeah. at the enemy. And let's put, right, the Demon Prince does come with a wing option. They haven't built him with wings. On the box, which seems oh. odd. Yeah. Yeah. That's not an airborne assault army. That's not an airborne assault army, no. There's a few raptors and some cultists. Yeah. The Dread Talons... The Dread Talons Battle Force is focused on one thing, smashing your enemy's lines in a big, screaming mass of jump pack troops, apart from all the cultists and the Demon Prince with no wings. The new Chaos Lord with jump pack leads a wing of 10 raptors to spearhead the assault, alongside a terrifying Demon Prince, while 10 cultists, a unit of a cursed cultist, a dark commune, holds down the fort to their profane masters. So basically, apart from the Lord, one unit of jumpy things, okay? This could now, don't get me wrong, a good box. Right, yeah, if you put both boxes together, you get a great army. Yes, agree. Right, you get every like there is no fat on that. You can buy the Dread Talons, the Long War, and the Combat Patrol, and you've got a very strong yeah. core Chaos Space Marine and, army. And like you've got like and you can essentially have one of each unit in your army, and, and it's great. But my but as a standalone box, they're not right. It's not fit for purpose for what they're saying it is. Right. No, it's not. It's not a. It's not a allies to join him in airborne assault, is it? No, what it's they, not. All right, what they should have gone right is go get the dark commune out, get the cultists out, put two more units of talons in there, two box sets of. So you've got twenty in there. You can have ten raptors, ten warp talons, demon prince, jump lord. Done. Right. Done. I mean, Damn. again, like, so, so if they're gonna, if if they send us these boxes, chat, we have no idea yet if they're, if they're gonna send us these boxes. Take the two lords out of it because they'll probably go to Joe for his chaos means to start with. Yeah. That's a good solid core for a word bearer's army. Yeah. It just is, but this isn't doing what it said it did. And the thing that I'm really kind of, the thing that really upsets me about it is, like I said, you can guarantee that for the first few months at least, you're only gonna be able to get hold of these chaos lords in these boxes. And that but makes me a sad panda. All the people that have a jump pack. So the thing is, that if you're a Chaos player, right, from 8th edition... You've probably binged your jump pack, Lord, because you haven't been able to use it. You might have it already. Yeah. In rage. Yeah, you'll be so but happy now. there might be some people who have got, like, a bunch sitting around that they can't do anything with, that now, they're like, I won't pick up the Dread Talons box set, because nothing in it you need. There's still loads more to see from today's preview show, so hold on back. But we've basically covered it all now. So the last two articles are... Hey, there's some stuff... Come in, we've got nothing to show you. So Horace Heresy says, there's a message, not a lot, right? And it's a very much the same for uh, Necromunda as well. There's a message, that's about it. There we go, job done. So that's it, that's it, Depticon reveals covered off. Oh, go to Warcom, because apparently Fuck there's a new me. model that's been shown off. I saw, it, I saw it in chat, but I didn't bring it up. In Warcom, apparently they've shown off another new model. Yeah, the Heresy one. Is it a heresy one? It's Thursday, isn't it? You could just click on the banner. I could, you're right. Go down, 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 down. Oh, he is. <laughs> oh, he, oh. <laughs> he is, he's a pretty boy, isn't he? This is probably a better reveal than everything we just seen, isn't he? Look at him. Oh, that's make, great. Does he make you feel things, Jay? That's... That's stunning. You happy with me? That's that's this oh, highly yeah. detailed resin miniature. Like, there's no, there's nothing wrong with that model. That's one of the best models they've released for a, a good couple of months. Is it now? Yeah. 
He's great. I love him. Anywho, that's the Adepticon previews. What do you think overall? I'm glad I didn't stay up for it. I'm very, so that was the title of the stream. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't yeah, stay up for this. I, I, so I had to do the school run this morning. So going, I, I tend to go to sleep quite late. So go to sleep late, get a couple of hours of sleep, wake up for that. I've been, I would have been absolutely fucking livid. <laughs> right? I, because I, I would have been sat there going, I know there's Chaos Space Marine reveals, right? And I'd said previously, there's things I hope that we get, but what I imagine we'll get is a Chaos Lord on foot and a Chaos Lord in Terminator armor, and that'll be it, right? And I don't have an issue with that, but I, part of me was like, do I stay up? Because if it's more, I want to see it and I want to know. Uh, and we didn't, and I'm glad I didn't. Yeah. Obviously, the AOS reveals was big, but there was no showing of new models, which I feel like is a bit of a miss. I, I panicked. Sorry, I saw Paddy message. And I was like, "Please don't be cancelling tonight." Sorry, carry on. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, there was no new AOS model shown off for the new edition. Like they could have just shown off a picture of a clan rat and a picture of a yeah. So a I, like we saw new AOS models, which are fucking gorgeous. Mm. But I'm the same. I would have liked to have seen a couple of a couple of new rats. Yeah, I don't even care about Stormcast. Show me a couple of new rats. I would have been excited. Yeah, because people would be like. This is the quality of the new rats. The quality yeah. of the new rats is great. Oh, let's be honest. The quality of the new clan rats and the new whatever coming out is going to be incredible. Because if you look at AOS, it's all incredible. They're, they're all going to look amazing. But I think if you really wanted some hype, show off the, some of the new models. Yeah. Um, I'm a bit disappointed by the Heresy one and like the Necromunda one. I, you're always better off not doing a video. Might as well not say anything. Yeah. Don't do a reveal. Like, that was just a bit of a non-reveal. That was a bit yeah. of a non... Like, by the way, a thing is coming. Yeah. We, spent, we won't tell you what's coming, they spent something's a lot, coming. They spent a lot of time as well talking about Age of Sigma. A yeah. lot of time talking about Age of Sigma with no real, like, meat on it. And that, yeah. you know, I think... Mm. I, the thing is, though, like, like, with the Heresy thing, with the Commander one, stuff's always coming at the end of the day. We always know that new stuff was coming. Like... Shiban Khan, which is just shame, right? Uh, or Hiban Khan. Right, that was like, there was no reveal for that. Yeah. That, that was a bigger reveal, right, than, than the whole big reveal from last night. Yeah. If they'd gone, instead of going, new Admet gone, here is a Skatari Warrior, or here is a, a, a Thalaxi. Yeah. Done. Just like, whoop, done. You'd be like, wow, it's coming. We can see a picture of it. That would have generated more excitement. Yeah, no, I agree. I, like I, I said this last night. Like I felt a little bit of of me was less excited as well because they do so many of these reveals now, and how much of it can be exciting, and how much can they show off? Um, and and I'm very excited. Here's the thing as well, right? I I'm very excited about New New Age of Sigma. Spoiler yeah. alert, chat. Before last night, we knew New Age of Sigma was coming. I'm very excited about New Age of Sigma, genuinely, and that last night didn't help me. No. The, the, the the trade is very cool. Yeah. The trade is really cool. I know. But it, like I'm like, cool, this is a brand new version of Age of Sigma, and we've got new spearhead, and it looks like it'll be Stormcast and, and um Skaven for the launch box. All sounds amazing, but I don't really have anything. Well that thing is that like 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 I know about as much now as I did two weeks ago. Yeah. Because they did the whole like Sigma Lie, you like cool, it's it's uh it's rats versus stormcast because it's gonna be stormcast because it's an AOS box set, and obviously it's it's, it's rats now. You know, cool. I know everything now. Yeah, and, I, and that, 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 that's that. Like, I feel like they could give you a little bit more to get you excited okay. about. And a cool trailer is a cool trailer. I get that, but oh, the trailer's awesome. What they could have done, right? How do you get people to sign up to Warhammer Plus? But here's the other thing as well. Want to see the trailer? Go to Warhammer Plus. Here's the, well, no, I wouldn't have got put the trailer behind the paywall. No, I wouldn't put it behind the paywall, but download the app if you want to watch it. You but can only watch why it on... Didn't, I mean, there's, things, there's other things you can do as well. Here's the other thing that annoyed me about the trailer, right? And this is something that I think they, they constantly swing and miss on. This isn't, again, this is a personal opinion. But I watched that trailer about Sigma Light to us, and I thought it was a very good trailer. And it got to a point where I was like, the Skaven are going to overrun them here. Mm. And I got excited. And then Stormcast beats Gaven and stood up. Good guys win. I was like, 
Yeah, but they didn't beat them. They got to walk into the big fortress. Like that was like the. <sighs> Why did good guys like? I feel like it's a more terrifying trailer for Age of say Age of Sigmar season four. If those stormcasts get overrun by the Skaven, didn't all the space marines die in the Indominus? Yeah, that was good. That was a good trailer. Yeah, yeah. It was apart a good from, trailer. Apart from the Terminator ten, I think everyone. Yeah, the uh, cool lieutenant with the knife. Like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. The models are essentially previewed in the trailer, but they're not though because you don't see models; you just see AI generated images. Yeah, that's not a model. And let's be honest: the AI generated images aren't going to be as nice as the models. Well, almost definitely. Yeah, Luton says, "I never get up for these reveals yet to regret." Hundred percent, Luton, agree with you. And someone said to me last night, like, no, someone tell Liam how many views and gifted Valrak gets for doing a reveal stream. I mean, you guys normally. Today aside, so far, normally you smash gifteds out the park anyway. So I'm not going to be greedy enough to just get up because I think I might get more gifted memberships. Yeah. So, so I, I, and I'm being straight up here. So I'm I'm going to get up if I'm super excited about a reveal. I really think something incredible is coming. Then I might get up for it because I am going to have to drive into the studio to do it because I'm not going to do it at home with two small kids to sleep upstairs. Yeah. So I am going to have to come in, drive in here, drive home, etc. So it's going to need to be something special to pull me in. I do not regret not getting up at that time in the morning. I'd rather sit here with Joe today and analyse it in our own time and, and look through everything that was released. Yeah. I'm looting, I'm with you 100%. Also, we still need to get that, that game booked in at some point, mate. But well, I'm with you 100%. I'm I, yet to yeah, regret it. I kind of feel like if you do a reaction thing to it, my first reaction was to that Lord with jump pack. I was like, oh, that's a bit shit. But I've had time yeah. to look at it a bit more, percolate. You know, have a think about it. But actually, it's not that terrible. With a but bit of this, a bit of that, it's, it's all great. I also, and I'm at risk of upsetting a lot of people here, but I also personally think a lot of people that get up at three o'clock in the morning to do those reveal streams are just doing it because they're desperate for views. <laughs> Balrack doesn't need the views, let's be honest. He's no, right. but the way that, like, his content is all about leaks and upcoming stuff. Yeah. So it kind of fits his content. Mm. As much as I hate to admit it, it kind of fits his content. It, and it does, you know. Um, but there's going to be a bunch of videos of like him theorying what's going to happen next. What? How does this affect this? What would these things be? Yeah. But, Talk about gifted, by the way. We are eleven away. Eleven away from fifty gifted. But I if did, we split the target across the two streams, I watched the little video in the Chaos Base Marine one. Eleven. Right. Eleven. And and Nick was like, and these box sets will be available very soon. So, so we know that Custodies are coming, Orcs are coming, Chaos Space Marine coming, because they've shown off the new characters yeah. and the Codex art, right? But what order are they actually coming in? Uh, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I want it to be Chaos Space Marines, because I don't care about Custodes or Orcs. They need to make a reveal where it's just two man-children with their toy soldiers being like, pew, 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 dead now, and smacking the new models together. Yeah, I'm into that. Yeah. The be right, I'm into the that. The best reveal... I, I would... Die on this hill. Oh, God. Right. The best reveal trailer Games Workshop has ever done for any model ever is the Plastic Thunderhawk. <laughs> right? <laughs> and it was Christmas Day, right? I remember sat there <laughs> Christmas Day morning. Tim Wilson, thank you for the gifted membership. Right. I, I literally, I'd, be, I'd not been awake for very long. Uh, I, I was super fucking depressed because I got the text message from the government saying that I had COVID and I can't leave the house. Christmas Day, right? And I went on my phone and then the, the show starts. It's the, the, the panelling of a Thunderhawk in front of a panda. The music's kicking. And I was like, they've done it. <laughs> <laughs> and then Nick's like, wing! It's this tiny little thing. I thought, oh my God. It's brilliant. The John Brickett, thank you for the gift of membership. The best. I, I was thought that was marketing at its best. But they but they went uh, through some phases of just comedy genius. Yeah, and Do I remember when they, they stuck something in the bin and the sister sprues were in there. Yeah, they just they did some absolute genius marketing. Yeah, I showed that Thunderhawk trailer to my partner and my children, and they thought it was hilarious. As yeah, well. it's great. I can't do that with many videos that Games Workshop do. Yeah, and I and yeah, I but oh the one where Mag like when. Um, was Duncan was in a wheelie bin and he pulled Magnus out. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> that stuff, that's the shit I want them to do. Yeah. That stuff is brilliant marketing, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, and it's a lot more fun and exciting. Uh, I feel like the reveal stream last night didn't actually reveal all that much. 
hey, we've got a new version of AOS coming. You guess what, GW? I hate to break it to you. Most people wouldn't work that out. Yeah. Like that, that isn't, that's the other thing, right? We did know about it. That's not news. It's not news. Mm. That's just cool. Yeah. Because, uh, the issue is, is because of leaks, Games Workshop's behind the curve now. Leaks are so prevalent within our community that Games Workshop releasing anything is a bit unexciting. Yeah, I agree. So Games Workshop releasing stuff has to be massive. Yeah. Math or funny. It, uh, I mean, to Luton says right there, uh, market, the best marketing for humour is showing comic contempt for your own product. It never fails. It 100% never yeah. fails. Like, like they, they got rid of the Jump Pack Lord for Chaos Space Marines and a thousand nerds cried out in pain. You know? <laughs> right? And Games Workshop could have done a, a comedy vi video on bringing it back. Right? And that would have been huge. That would have been great. That would have been shared everywhere. Like one of them just get out of a cupboard and <laughs> blow the dust off of yeah. it. Like, why can't I use it? Like, yeah. you know, honestly, the April Fool squat Votan trailer was good. It was, yeah. Um, and then they did the James Workshop video where they where they messed up with the Votan. Yeah, and it was, was it was a <laughs> what how, do we, how, do, how do we make this apology less kind of we fucked up? Yeah, and they did a great job. Yeah, it was really funny, despite yeah. the fact that it was quite a serious issue at the time for the community. Morty Hammer. Thank, thank you. you I won't gifted. do a bomb salute. <laughs> it's harder to click your heels together when you sat down, isn't it? Yeah. And thank you so much for the Ted Gifted Morty Hammer, you absolute fucking dancer. Yeah. I I love Games like Games Workshop's humour because they get it right every time. When they do something funny, it's really fucking funny. It is. Um, but the problem is I kind of feel like the people in charge of their community are a bit dead inside. Maybe. Well, I, I've, I've been told, I've been informed, I've been reliably informed that the heads of sheds for 40k at least are all tournament players. And that's why we have the edition we have. That's the, why the game's working the way it's working. They're all tournament people who well, like tournaments. Well, that's why we're in the position that we are now where we've essentially sat down, we've pulled the game apart to a point where I can reassemble it in missions um, and in the armies that we bring to the table and the terrain that we use to make it enjoyable. Well, I was saying this to the Thanes on Saturday, right? Yeah. At the Thanes meetup. I was like, I genuinely think, I genuinely think that they have uh, intended to make a great tournament edition and uh, inadvertently made a really fun edition if you're able to lean into it that way because I'm having loads of fun. Um, but, that, but I think part of the reason I'm having loads of fun is, is because... I've stopped taking it so seriously. And I've stopped taking it so seriously because the rules are a bit of a mess. Yeah. So what they've, what they've attempted to do, I think they've kind of failed at, despite the fact that actually, to be fair, tournaments have got more players than ever before. Um, but the, the addition that they've ended up making, I'm genuinely loving it. Yeah. I'm genuinely loving it, absolutely. I've got so many projects that I'm kind of working on that I can and can't talk about. Um, but I'm just like, I can't wait to do it all. And the thing is though, you've started nights. And I was out back earlier going through the box of Chaos Knights. Knights like, on Knights! Yeah! I'm like, I want to do Chaos Knights because they're cool. I, I could get a Chaos Knight army painted really, really quickly and it looked but great. I'm, I'm, I'm like, mad excited at the moment, Joe. I, I've got those Chaos Knights. They're, 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 sorry, those Imperial Knights I'm working on on the stream, on the hobby streams on Monday night, right? I've got um, the Croot box, the second Croot box they sent me, which instantly made me order Farsight. And I was like, oh, I want to do some Tau stuff. I've got, I watched the stream trailer this morning for Age of Sigma, instantly wanted to, to pull out my Cities of Sigma box and start building that. Mm. Like, I'm just, like, they're doing that, in, in that regards, I'm having, I'm, the hobby's well, in yeah, a good place. yeah, this reveal, basically, I came in, and I was like, where are the Warriors of Chaos? Yeah. I want them. I want them now. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, right, you people are absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for hanging out. We have been, we have gone an, an half an hour over. Kill what? Super Chat. Oh, yeah. And, uh, Mordy Hammer wants to know what, dance, dance is a good thing. Fucking dancer it means you're a good you're a good thing. Yeah, Jill, thank you for the five. I would only accept reveals being presented by our Lord and Savior James Workshop. Yeah, yeah. he is great. He is a great PR tool He's that they only tool. wheel out every couple of Christmases, and it annoys me. Yeah, he, he needs one every Christmas. He needs to be on uh, all the time. Being a dancer is like being a Wang. Yeah, what a nice guy. What a nice guy, Wang. By the way, if we're calling you a Wang, we're not just calling you a penis. <laughs> uh, we have gone half an hour over, but I expected it for an Adepticon reveal show. Despite, the, uh, I mean, imagine if they've actually put. Um, Imagine if they'd actually put proper fucking thing like reveals and we'd have been here for three hours. Yeah. 
You guys have been amazing. Thank you so much for hanging out. We hit 51 gifted memberships. That's incredible for Aliyah and Joe Show. Thank you so much. Um, you're incredible. Thank you for all the super chats and the donations. Genuinely, really, really, really supports the channel, so we wildly appreciate it. Uh, but we have another stream for you. Of course, it's Thursday. Double stream day on Thursday because I don't... Uh, tell me another 40k channel that puts out as much content as we do. You're right, you can't. Uh, so at 7.30 this evening, Paddy comes back. Oi! Oh, I've seen him for ages. Wear your baggy trousers, chat. People are going to get erect. Paddy's here with his towel. Uh, and he's just sent me... The, hang on. He's just sent me the list just to confirm the list. Commander Farsight, Sunforge Crisis Suits... Cold Star Commander with Sunforge Crisis Suits. Um, oh no, Star Scythe Crisis Suits, sorry. Enforcer Commander with Star Flare Ignition System with Fire Knife Crisis Suits. So all three Crisis Suit units. Uh, we've got Crute Shaper, Crute Fast Stalkers, Crute Flesh Shaper, Crute Carnivores, Crute Ox Riders, Crute Ox Rampages. That's right, he built the whole new box and painted it just for stream. Hence, we've had to wait till Thursday. Three Stealth Battle Suits, three Stealth Battle Suits, one Ghost Kill, one Ghost Kill, and some Pathfinders for a 1995 point retaliation card army. That's tonight at 7.30. You're not yeah. going to want to miss it. But Brand new tower on the channel. Someone, Job Perkins, says, I don't understand why Games Workshop doesn't let us know the release date for their new reveals. It is. So, you spend your money. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, if you don't know when something's coming out, right, you've got two options. Save your money, right? You save and you save and you save and then you go for months and months and months and then eventually it comes out and you get it. Or you go... I don't know when it's coming out. I want this thing now. I could have to wait months for this one to come out, by which time I'll have money again. Mm. So I buy this thing now that I want. And that's, I mean, uh, that's why they don't do it. It's 100% why. Yeah. Because if you, if you can plan your financial choices, you might not make poor financial choices. It's exactly that, 100%. Yeah. Uh, anyway, like I said, 7.30 tonight, Tau versus, we think, Space Wolves. We've got a potential Space Wolf army for me to run up there. Because yeah. Joe's going, hey, he doesn't want to play again on channel. He's not, he doesn't like 40k. I think I was originally down to play tonight. And then Paddy, you were Paddy couldn't come on Tuesday. Yeah. So you played Brom. And then you were like, screw you, Joe. No, 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 no. I didn't put Paddy in today. I think Joe put me Paddy. Uh, Brom put me and Paddy in today. Oh, Blame so, Brom. You can still play if you want to, but I know you've got other plans. I've got plans. I've got a child-free evening. Yeah, so he's going home to sleep to wax his gooch. So thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow at 8.30 as well, uh, the final stream of the week, 40k after dark, I have some Vikings blood mead again. Yeah? Yeah. I am playing Warhammer in my garage. If you could hit that like button on your way out, that would be incredibly appreciated. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, have a wonderful time.